What up? What up? Hello. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to Absolute Pandemonium. Hope everybody's enjoying their day and their time. Uh, yo, everybody want to sound off? How's the day been going? What's going on? Yeah, it's been all right. Yeah, do what it do. We here. So it has been an interesting week in these anime streets. Okay, I, I'm visible on the cast. I just can't see myself here. That's oh, cool. Yeah. Weird, we can see you. Everybody if I start there. digging in my nose, remind me I'm on camera. You <laughs> on camera? He can't see himself, y'all. But he sees, but we all see him. So feel free to pick at him because he can't see you. you know, messing with him, but anyway. Um, yeah, we got a lot. I know we stopped the show a little early last week. We got a lot to. No, we this. didn't. We were supposed to be a short show as long as we definitely no, no, no. extended that moment. I consider all two-hour shows short shows because I know normally we go forward. So anything under that is short. <laughs> I, I know we're not going to make it work. It's just not going to happen. So <laughs> uh, so I say we get started. Right. Uh, shoot, I don't even know where to start. Where we starting? starting? Change this light uh, Oh, Ooh, okay. Ooh, how about okay. this? How about we start with something on the funny side? Something I threw in there earlier. Okay. We all, anybody who's watching Naruto, <laughs> has one scene that always stands out to them. There's one fight <laughs> that no matter who you are, it was that first moment you probably was like, D- when it comes to Naruto. And that was the fight with Rock Lee and Gar. You gotta love that. that Everybody fight. remembers where it's they were when they saw that fight. It's <laughs> a thing. <laughs> you know? I researched and I found how Rock Lee came to get those get that, that ability. Bow. Here we go. Right. <laughs> if you yeah. want to make the next Rock Lee, this is how you do it. That's how you do it, bro. Hey, I'm going to send it to my brother to get from my nephew, man. There you go. That's what you got to do. Send, send, Duke, send Duke a pair. Put on the kid. <laughs> I was like, I saw these and I was like, did they really just... And Hold on. I'm going to zoom in on this too because I, I did not check That's a how year. heavy they off, were. Though. Let me see. Does it say the size? No, it does not say the total on there. I'm gonna see if, what the weight is. Can they do they do they go up, right? Like do they go up and wait as you go? Oh. Toddler like, tamers. I feel like something I would have been on a shark tank. I don't know why I'm getting shark tank I mean the concept is understandable. You get them kids and when they when they realize they can run, you put them on they running nowhere for a while. I mean Putting a harness on a kid, though, or put what do they call it, the the leash on the kid? Like, really? Duke. I remember the first time I saw a leash on a kid. Duke. <laughs> we had to. I, oh I remember, my god! No, 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 no! Forget that. I remember the first time I saw a leash on a kid. The kid had got off his leash. Now, mind you, I worked at a Not museum. Not getting off the leash. I, right, I worked at a, at a children's museum. Kid got off his leash and started sprinting down the down the little the mini ramp in the center of the museum, and he would stop at each corner and wait for the mom to get like halfway, and then take off to the next corner, and he did that all the way around <laughs> till he got to the next floor. Right, he peels off, goes all the way down the end. He takes off on the floor, and she's like, "If you don't come back here, I'm gonna count three. One, the kid is sitting there, nah, 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 nah. I'm sitting there like, are you serious? I'm sitting there watching. It's like." My mama would have broke her foot so far deep, like something would have came flying through the air. I don't care if it was in a public space, like somebody else's kid mama would have got me. I got a question though. Was it this kind of kid or this kind no, of kid? No, it wasn't it wasn't it wasn't us kind of so, kid. So was this kid? It was the inside of the phone. Okay. It was this kid. Okay. It was definitely inside of the palm. And then she finally got him and hooked him back to the leech. And I'm sitting there like. And then he started pulling off like he was a pit bull. Like she's he's sitting there dragging her down the aisle like a pit bull. I'm like, what is going? I'm done. I'm done. Yeah, that was my first experience with with 
toddler leashes. So, White people living think. in Germany, WPS. My mom and daddy got my brother one uh-huh. because my brother wasn't running. He was. So it was funny. So he would pull my mom. So actually, I remember this day like it was yesterday, bro. We was, we was in Germany and we had went on like a little family trip to uh, Heidelberg Castle. We was in the castle. And so my mom was like kind of tired. So my dad had to leash my brother on it. So funny. My dad would let my brother run as much as he want. But as soon as he, he stretched that leash, dad would just stiff his arm. He didn't pull it. He stiff his arm. My brother fall back. He had said, don't move. My dad would walk past my brother to the leaf pool just a little bit and tell him, all right, you can move again. Let him run as much as he wants. Wow. <laughs> wow. Yo, that was so funny. He's going to kill me from telling y'all that story. I just, I just see like that, that, uh, that, that, what is it, the rubber band move was like they just run past it and then they just swing, pull it <laughs> back. Man. Yeah, but some yeah. kids need it, though. Some, some kids do need that, but. Most definitely. Yeah. It was just hilarious. First time I saw it, I was like, they really made a leash for a kid. I can't believe it. And they, it's one of those that you think about it like, yeah, I can see it. And then at the same time. Right. But it's like, like, did I really just see it, though? <laughs> true. Man. Um, let's go. Let's do uh, just some slight TV news to go first. Actually, before we do that, shout out. We had a birthday this week. Who, who got old? Garfield. Oh, yeah, he oh, did get oh, old. Yeah. I thought you were talking about one of the whistles. Like, hold up, who got old? I know. Yeah, no, got old, no, no, no. I got a lot of birthdays coming up in my family. <laughs> that nigga yeah, his birthday was yesterday, the 20th. Oh, so yeah. he's a Virgo. Uh, he's okay. A, he just turned 39. So. Mm, I did not know who's that old. He's old, old, bro. Yeah. He's in our generation. Right. Who? But I mean, let's be honest. Most of us still oh, look man. like we're in our twenties, or at least early thirties. So, mm. you know, I'd have had him at twenty nine. Honestly, I'd have had him at right, twenty nine. Right, right. He's like ten years over over that. So, I'm so yeah. 24. Shout out to Andrew. You know, happy birthday, bro. Hope you enjoyed yourself. You got some fun. Hope we um, get to new Spider Man movie soon. Yeah, right. Spider Man. Get you Spider-Man. another one soon, bro. We hoping. <laughs> um, as far as TV mo- news goes, he would be a good human choice, though. Ooh, I don't see I like it. that. I kind of like that idea, though. He's not cocky enough. And, and he's I can not. see him not being cocky, but he definitely has the the, the build. The build. I, and I the definitely see that. Yeah, I definitely. I see feel that. like he could be Human Torch if they was to repackage him in the MCU. He could be Human Torch. Hmm. I'm not totally against it. I just think he probably he wouldn't be my first choice. I'll say that, but I'm not totally against it. I can see where you get the idea. I mean, Definitely. well, if we going that way, I'm I'm against another Fantastic Four movie period. No, that's I'm not. I'm not. I, mean, I, I, I like movie. the first we one. We do not need four. one. We I'd see what happens. All right, like, we need Doom. like a Listen, Doom movie. I, I just, I they want keep Doom, trying. Bro. I want Doom in the fit, bro. Like, yeah, a Doom no, movie is one we thing, can do a Doom movie. I'm right. I could. We could do a Doom movie, and they can like. See, yes, this is why I hated Venom because now people think they can do moves without the person who made the person relevant. Go on, that's a good point. Go on, point. keep going, keep going. I'm just saying, we got the Venom movie without right. Spider Man, which True. the movie was decent, and it hurt me watching a Venom movie that has nothing to do with Spider Man. It did. I'm not yeah. gonna lie. I'm not against them being in the film, but I'm saying. Instead of it being a Fantastic Four film, it should be a Doom film. You see what I'm saying? Right. Where yeah, he's understand. the main character. You know what I'm saying? The mm. antagonist as the, as the uh, MC. You damn right. I, mean, I can see it. I can it see work. it. Doom, I think that, 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 would, be that would not be a bad idea. I think it would not be at bro. Come on. Look at how but, much we be gassing the shit out of Doom every time we talk but about question. it. Are we gonna yeah, are we gonna watch him get beat at the end of the movie like it like he was the villain the whole time? No, no. He gonna win this one. It'd be like Joker. He don't yeah. ever he don't technically ever lose if you really think about doing that's it. big facts. He's never actually Hold on, wait, wait. He don't lose 
the war. He lose a few battles. He right, just he'll lose, lose a war. battle. No, I mean, he just lose battles sometimes. I mean, he did lose against Luke Cage, but then again, he owed Luke Cage money. So, I mean, does that count as an O? I mean, it don't. My nigga, like, when you owe he people away, money, right? it's like, a super strength, bro. Death is the you end of the world. Hey, how you doing? Listen, hey. Hey, babe. <laughs> No, like, no, think about, think about it this like, way. You know what I mean? Think about it this way. Luke Cage. It just, uh, I, they, they can see him, they just black on hip or And indestructibility and shit, right? But then when somebody owes you money, you get like another level of power. Hmm? <laughs> the nigga owes Luke Cage money? Yeah. 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 I, 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 I might get out. Oh, like, oh, hey, 840 ish, I might get off. They should do that as like a live action Marvel short if they ever get the chance. So, uh, my Doom wife, Luke Cage is a Marvel if she could do my hair while we're on live, I'm like, yeah, we're gonna wait for that. <laughs> oh, let me, let me, let me introduce my the yes, the, the, the star. Uh, so what we got today, we got some Hennessy privilege in a nice glass. You know what I'm saying? Yo, D, what's up, man? Going? We got some Guinness, you know what I'm saying? Okay, okay. We got the the shandy. You know, I always drink this every one. Of course, of course. We got a hydrate, so we got some water too. Speaking of hydrate, but this is the star. Body armor. It's the star though. I got right the, I got the OG. I got the OG OG. The OG OG. Yeah, that's OG. right. Wait, bring Minimum it back in the camera. Months. Bring it back in the camera. Bring it back. I got one question. I y'all better answer me. Why did that bottle, Lord. the 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 uh, carton and the big jug and the can all full and taste different? Yeah, we know this. Yo, we know it's, this. it's a container. It's, it's container. It's container bro. contamination. Established this. I want no the cart every time. The cart is the best. Like even when they the same flavor. Nah, plastic bottle. Plastic container no. is the best. Mm-mm. Nope. It's, it's the box. Cart. It's old. It's, no, it's box the cart. box. No frozen, frozen plastic container. Because it remi- okay, it's like it's like you, you remember the little juice nah, jug? Y'all frozen, had jugs? You, we used to do the slushy box too. Throw the box in the freezer for a little bit. Let it slush up. Whatever. Come on, man. I mean, uh, I, I, I can't. I can't. I, I mean, I understand. I understand. In the, <laughs> the box, by the time I got around to it, the box was like soaking through and everything. I didn't have time for that. Like, I needed to be Which a is the best slush minute list. made, chat? Is it the plastic bottle or is the it can. the box? Wait, wait, the, can, the plastic can, bottle, can, the box. ain't holding up to the box and, or, or the plastic bottle. It's not. We just got to throw it in there for the people not who think that. But we're throwing it in there because they might think that. You never know. Pla- it's box. the box. <laughs> it's the box. <laughs> the right is in the box for you. It's the box. Bro. All right. Touche. Touche. The box has it. No, the box has it. <laughs> well, the box has it. <laughs> box is it that way. A little bit better. A little bit better. The only thing about the little bottles is that they got, they got the flavor that you don't get in the box. Yep. That's, that's the only thing about them. They got the ooh. Yep. It's like it's like wine. Yeah, like, wine right. tastes good. Certain depending if you have it in the bottle or the box. You yeah. won't say the same thing with wine too. True that. Or liquor too. You want to be really honest, honest. Ooh, that's some good Hennessy right there, boy. Yeah. Got the man. Hennessy. What are you talking about Hennessy? You're the about Hennessy privilege. Oh, privilege. so uh, I gotta inform y'all. What's up? Our new guest today. Is actually going to be joining us in the D and D campaign. Oh, we got a guest today. So when we when we uh when when we play next round, you all will get to introduce. He's actually my oldest friend in the book. <laughs> like known this man since I was twelve years oh, old. Oh, oh wow! Uh, oh, that was, that was yeah, day one. Ago, man. Hey, Bruce, huh? Okay. Yeah, yeah. So uh, he's going to be joining us for. For, uh, for the campaign, and uh, yes, yes, he's the person that, as far as all those secrets y'all want to know, that's that's outside of Nick, who y'all met, that was big brother to both of us. Let's okay. put it that way. Okay, Nick I got questions. Both of us. Ooh, oh, oh questions. we gonna get some answers. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hold on, rubs hands like bird man. <laughs> right, right. What up, Jumbo? What it do, Jumbo? What up, Jumbo? <laughs> Yo, oh. so me and Jumbo today, we played. Master duel for about a good three four hours, just working on um new um builds. I have started a Nordic build, and I love okay. it because it's something oh, different. I see. Those cards so, are cool. I've seen those. <laughs> he so with the Nordic build, it's um the key <laughs> cards are Thor, Odin, and Loki. Hold up, I hate to do this, but darn it, 
He got answers. <laughs> yes. Oh, yes. yeah, we know that. Yes. I know when he said that. Man said he got answers, bro. We out here. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, it was fun. He uh he played with his um cyber dark deck against it. He got that one card out I couldn't beat, but I could have, but I misplayed. I wasn't thinking. Mm. Okay. Yo, when y'all get a chance, if you're not streaming, feel free to throw y'all gameplays and stuff in the Discord. Like just as y'all doing random stuff. So that way it's, it's in there for posterity. That way when when, when Jay takes these ales, <clears throat> we got records. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you gotta have the receipts. Gotta have receipts. Gotta have receipts. What the fuck is you scratching at my window? Up, oh, it's raining. It's raining. It's raining. <laughs> nah, oh, no, no, there at the window. He pulled the sword. Hey. Like, wait a minute, fam. Hey. <laughs> I mean, you are in Georgia, so I don't put it past you. Could be a y'all got all kind no. of critters. <laughs> could be a possum. Could be a bear. Could be a right. Bear. Yeah, it's just it's like real hard drop. So it, it thought it sounded like I had my headset on. It sounded like it was on um, scratching. Oh, wow. Nah, but Jay, I'm still. I got my Magnet Warrior day about 100 percent complete now. It's it's done. Magnet Warrior done. Harpy's done. The one we were talking about, Jinzo's the next one I'm working on. That's the next one I'm working on. Jinzo. 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 Okay. If you play, if you watch those you know, you know what I'm talking about. I activate my trap card. I summon Jinzo. <laughs> That's such a troll card. <laughs> it's like you make a troll deck with that with Jinzo. So, real quick on a uh, on the t- like we were talking about the TV updates. Y'all remember this? Oh, oh yeah, the I remember mold. this. The mold, bro. They're bringing it back. Mold back. Hey, that was a good show. I never watched. Back. I'm not gonna play with y'all. Just the throwback. I only game. I only seen a few episodes. I ain't watch it like that either. But I remember it. No, nah, I used yeah, to watch this with like, my mom was, back in the day. Yeah, God rest her soul. Every storyline oh. has that concept in it at some yeah. point. Yeah, oh, yeah. it's storm and storm. So, um, just in case if I do just blank out, the power went out. We got you. Got gotcha. you. Oh, it's storm and storm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's storm. Oh, storm. okay. I didn't hear it until I thought I was someone scratching. I took my earphone. I could hear it now. Yeah, as long as nobody out there dancing for little snake, you go say you be all right. Hey, my mom gave us a heart <laughs> on Facebook, so my mom is watching the podcast. Huh? Hey, 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 mom. mom. <laughs> so, so yeah, the mole is coming back after what 14, 14 years now, I think it's been. Uh, Netflix. Got it. Something like that. Yeah. Um, who's the host? Um, what's the, the dude name? Um, on CNN used to host. I keep thinking the guy named Anderson. Um. I can't think of the guy's name. But he used to, um, he, he was the original host for that show. Yeah, you know, CNN? Ooh. Yeah. I think I like a know. news guy. Um, Nick Anderson? Anderson? Not Nick Anderson. Oh, my God. Anderson Cooper. Anderson Cooper. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, that was it. He used to host that show. Yeah. That'd be so. cool. But I know they used to have, like, the Easter egg and everything where you could pause. This is, like, I think when TiVo first came out, too. Yep. So this should be interesting, like if it's on Netflix, so you can pause and probably figure out the clues if they do it like they did back in the day. It should be fun to watch. Yeah, I think it'll be. Well, see, and think about <laughs> it. Uh, they now have that. Um, I saw that with Netflix. They have those shows where you can make your decisions, like choose your own adventure shows that they do now. Oh, mm-hmm. that was. So be think fun. about if they made if they integrated that into the mold. Like oh, it, you, you could pick who who you think the person is, almost like a game of Clue. Like if they were able to integrate that into a TV show, I could see that. You I know, that, that yeah. so yeah. just something to think about. I don't think they will do it for this, but no. I'm just saying, if could be a, got, a pot- they clearly have it. Could be a potential idea. I mean, right. that's what they come. What what back Iron Chef? I've seen a couple episodes of that, which wasn't too bad actually. The Iron Chef no, it reboot, not. it's not that bad. Two episodes I watched. Yeah. One of them had um Keyshawn Johnson on it. The second one, it was like a tailgate theme. They had Yo, Keyshawn, Keyshawn threw down, bro. I saw. I just saw the episode like a week ago. Keyshawn threw down. Like that bro was grilling <laughs> his little heart out. <laughs> and I was like, okay, see what Keyshawn been doing after football. I see what he been mm-hmm. doing. Definitely Googling his restaurant, maybe travel there one day and go check that out. I'm definitely down for like hitting the restaurants from like a show 
just like taking the show and just hitting everybody's restaurant. I'm gonna tell you what I did when I first came to Atlanta, bro. One of my favorite shows to watch, Man vs. Food. Yes. Uh, so I YouTube Man vs. Food Atlanta edition, the uh-huh. final restaurant. Majority of them like wasn't okay. You know, Man vs. Food is kind of old. Right, right. So a lot of them wasn't open. I went to one that had a new owner, but it was still pretty good. Okay. <laughs> But oh um, man, I, I, they need to bring that show back. That show was lit. I love man. That show food. was good. That it's three shows that the world needs to have back. Um, man versus food. Yep. yep. The man show. That yep. ain't never coming back. That ain't never coming back. <laughs> and what was the other? What was the other I wish. show? I it, um, what was it? What? Got cold. Uh, that, could be a, that could be a that could be YouTube yeah. thing. But it's another. It was another show that came on uh, G four. Uh, Let's just bring G four back. Let's just let's just bring it. just bring back G four. Yeah, just bring back, <laughs> bring G4. back G four. Like, like, YouTube channel. Like, we gonna bring up G four. But I'm talking about the like one with the, the guy and the girl host right. that we talking about the game. Oh, X play. X play. That was a X play. Oh, X play. Yo, the man show. Ziggy Zaggy. Ziggy Zaggy. Oh, oh, oh. Ziggy Zaggy. Ziggy Zaggy. Oh, oh, oh. That that will never come. You'll never see another man show. Nope. Nah, the man show was awesome. That was the shit though. That man, the man show. Was man. We're lucky we got Beavers and Butthead back. Shoot, I think. <laughs> Which, I mean, though, but if you really think about, it, if you look at some of the stuff we watched as kids, like, and it, it's trampolines. definitely a generational thing, but like the stuff we we dealt with just on a regular basis, I don't know if these kids today can deal with that. Like we grew up, I saw somebody said we grew up in secondhand smoke. Yeah, and ain't none of us got messed up lungs. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, Unless we kept smoking ourselves. The the era of ninety cars came with ashtrays and lighters for right. smokers. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. Doesn't have that no more. Now it's against the law to smoke in the car with a child. Right. Well, I ain't got no children, so. <laughs> But yeah, or or what about no, this one? Okay. Get thrown in the back seat or the trunk of the truck with no back seat. Oh, the trailer bed. Or y'all piled in the trunk bed. Oh yeah. Oh <laughs> yeah. Yep. Hey, What's the me and my brother used to fight about sitting in the back. We should love sitting exactly. in the back. Exactly. That's the best seat. It was cool until we started hitting on bumpy roads. That's the best part. <laughs> no man, no. the trunk bed was really that though. The trunk bed really was that though. Yeah, it was. Yo, we need to we need to uh eventually one day we need to set up a drive in. Like a drive through night if we can. Of anime? Yeah, like an anime drive through night. I yeah. wonder if the drive through gonna have Dragon Ball Z when y'all get here. Or Dragon Ball Super. Yeah. Oh, no. That's a good question. I'm gonna I'm gonna check and see. Let's check into it, yeah. I'm gonna check I asked wife to do because she knows yeah. on the website to go to. Oh, they do movie, have a drive in movie movie not too far from me. That movie made some bank oh, yeah. this weekend. Man, bank. Yeah, they did. So the living in market. Go, ahead and go into it then. Let's, Let's go, go into it. it. So twenty I ain't go one million. Minus already four. Or we going to see it. We just want to see it together. Oh, okay. Right. Minus us four. <laughs> us three. Oh, right. That's what I that's what, that's what yesterday. Rod cheated. Rod cheated. <laughs> now he I had to go went. check it out beforehand so we can so we can have something to say. That's that's I'll say this: the CGI is not as bad as people making it out to be. I'll I that saw one. that okay. it is not that bad. Okay, I think it's just the fact that we're being new ish because we still got the other like Dragon Ball Z is still a very highly watched anime for people who watch anime. It was their first. It was the first. It was like. It was one of the introductions to, for a lot of people. Yeah, yeah. If you don't count Pokemon and um, Yu-Gi-Oh! Because a lot of people didn't know that Yu-Gi-Oh. those were anime until years later. Right. Or Digimon. Or Digimon. But you know, yeah, Digimon. I, but I'll say this. The whole time I'm watching the movie, I was thinking, I wish they had this animation style for two shows. For two shows. What, one Piece? Like- I can see a One Piece movie in this style. For okay. sure. And another one, Sailor Moon. I can see a Sailor Moon. I can see Sailor. I, I, can, I can see, definitely Sailor, see Moon. Sailor Moon. Sailor. One Piece is the powers that's gonna mess with me though. Like Luffy y'all, y'all, y'all yeah, have on you One seen Piece Z? Have you have you seen One Piece Z? No, I haven't Not seen yet. none of the movies. Yeah, Z is on Netflix right now. If you get a chance, 
but that like they would have to switch between animation styles if they did it, kind of like they did in Z. Mm. Oh, Inuyasha! Inuyasha. That's, that's I can see that Inuyasha in that one. Oh yes, Inuyasha in that. I, I can definitely see Inuyasha, or even I, uh, a Samurai Champloo movie, or even. I love oh, the Wait, by the same so what if they redid the whole anime of Yu Yu Hakusho in that animation style? Oh, I guess would it. Oh, forget it. Wait, wait, hold up. Yu Yu Hakusho in which Just do Dark Tournament arc. In, in the in the DBZ superhero yeah. mode. Just do Dark Tournament arc. Like, if I was to pick somebody to reanimate no, Yu Yu Hakusho, I would want uh, the animators of um, Demon Slayer to do it. To do, Ooh, I feel like they would do it so I much fuck justice. That. I fuck with that. I fuck Ooh. with that. Like, I would love to see Cool Bar so in that animation style. That's a good suggestion. I guess if this yeah. in the Rose Whip, throw that in the box. Throw that like I said, like when, when I was watching movies, Sailor Moon and, and One Piece kept popping around. Like, wow, I can see One Piece Yo. and Sailor Moon easily in this style. In this style. Okay. Easily. Just, just, just think about, you know, what's, the, what's his, uh, what's the Himukara? I can't say it. What's um Tanjiro's move name? The fire move? Oh, um, Hino. Uh, is it Hinokage? No. Nope. Himokara? It's something it's not, like that. It's not Hinokage. It's um. You talking about the joint that he got from his from his dad, right? That he yeah. Happy his dad. Yeah. I can't. I can. I know if I see it, but just imagine, like, Dragon of the Darkest Flame, right. with that type of like fire, that. but purple and black. Yeah, yeah. Be, they did do Piccolo's move in this movie pretty good in that style, and I could I could see Darkness is dragging this thing. I could I could see it. I, I could definitely see it. But this movie was good. That is not bad. I mean, even the excuse they have for Goku and Vegeta not being in the movie was perfect. It was like classic Dragon Ball comedy. It's like it makes so much sense. And also, there is a post credit scene, so just stay for that too. There's a post credit scene. Okay. If, you're a v- if you're a Vegeta fan, you're gonna laugh. That's all I'm gonna say. All right, all right. It's one of those like know that. Yeah. Um, Tr- another thing that we had regarding that was this part of it, the second half of it. We were talking about just the U.S. at that point, but what about the Japanese sales and situations that they got going? I on? think because they're oversaturated with it. I think because they they have access to it to the point where. Um, they see it enough. Like they have stores and everything. Did Dragon Ball Z? They're like, okay. So you think it's just the natural attrition of the series? Yeah, like it's okay. J- think about it like this: when it comes to Japan, they're always pushing forward. Like, yeah, they pay the, they they respect the path, but they always pushing forward. Like right. they're looking at the new anime. The new anime moves coming. They do great in Japan, but right. like they probably tired of Dragon Ball. <laughs> Well, I mean, look. I mean, looking at the numbers, though. I mean, we got thirty-four million for DBS Broly. That was the most recent of the, all the movies, wasn't it? Yeah, now, Super Heroes the most recent, but I see. What well, you're I saying. mean, before Super Heroes, yeah, yeah, it was. Uh, Resurrection F was thirty million, and Battle of the Gods was twenty-nine. But see, look at the reason you got to think about it. Both of them movies had one thing that this one does not have: the nostalgia point. They bought Broly canon. <laughs> True. They bought back Frieza. Yeah, this one had nothing to do with none of them. So I got a, so I got a question, and we'll talk okay. about Black Frieza here in a second. But had they thrown Black Frieza into this, I don't see where it would have fit. Nah, it'd have been too. It'd have been overkill. Well, I'm just saying, you think it would have done better as a mo- like box office wise? If I don't think. Line no. well, had been part of it. If if they would have did it, it probably would have been better, but not too much better because you got to think about it. How are they gonna put Black Freezing in that when that is in the manga and that's like leaps and bounds past where they are with the movie? True, true, true. Well, okay, the, I, movie, I the movie timeline is before uh, was it Mordo? It's before the Mordo art. No, it's supposed to, no. This movie After. takes place a year before End of Z. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Super is a year before End of Z. So Moro, Black Freezer, all that stuff could have already happened by now, by this point, but we don't know yet. But honestly, I kind of want to play devil's advocate here because I know I've talked to this with you guys in chat. I think it's been a marketing and promotion, honestly. And in the in Japan, US, mm-hmm. they didn't promote it at all. Like one of the main reasons I even remember the movie was coming out because I went to the movie there and I saw the poster. I was like, oh yeah, the movie's coming out. 
I want to memory I even remember the movie was coming out. The only reason I remember this movie coming out because it's all uh, it putting Gohan back in that light. Right. And y'all know I'm a huge Gohan fan. Like honestly, I think the market has been ter- the market is terrible in Japan. But Jay, you have a point about oversaturated because then you have Super Dragon Ball heroes. They have a lot of other stuff in Japan that we don't get over here in the U.S. Most definitely. But the mm-hmm. thing about with Dragon Ball, um, when it's talking about marketing, is think about it. That's the most that beat Pokemon the first movies first week. And that's at the height of Pokemania with no marketing. It beat Pokemon. That should tell you how strong Dragon Ball is as a in the West franchise in the West. Yeah, to be to beat a poke the first Pokemon movie, and that hasn't been touched. That movie ain't no joke. That was what fourteen years ago. But it's that's like, almost twenty that years. Like that's almost twenty, but way more 20 than fourteen. Years? About 20 years 20 years 20 years 23 I want to say that that's one anime movie I ain't never had so many emotions in in one movie. Bruh, <laughs> bruh, talking about thug tears. Man, I tell you now, I don't even think they could put out a Pokemon movie in the theaters right now that could probably be Dragon Ball's super superhero money. Don't movie. make it so bad. It was such a great movie. It's still not my favorite Pokemon movie. Which one is the one with Entei? You know what? I can respect that. I'm not mad. I'm not mad. My was favorite the one second was the one with, um, <laughs> the second one was two Pokemon 2000 with Lugia. That one's kind of whack. That one's kind of whack. I'm with Jumbo. Did you I'm with Jumbo. Jumbo. Movie? Hey. I'm 100 with Jumbo. That was a good one though. That was a good one too. Did you no, know who? Yeah, yeah, they had me had you going. What that three over that, eight, I got that a was question. What and what throwback animes y'all wish had a movie? Black Lagoon. Throwbacks. Yeah. Champion Joe. Beyblade. Yeah. The first, not not the not the medals, Shogun, all them. I'm talking about with Ty and uh, Kai, Mac and Ray, or Metal Drusil, Dragoon, Drigger. I'm sorry, Drigger was like my favorite one just because of his name. What you say? Kenshin, but that that's not a Kenshin had a movie, didn't it? Live action, not anime. Yeah, they got a lot of action. Yeah, he ain't have an anime movie. I love Kenshin. That's my guy. Outlaw Star deserved the movie. Yeah. Yeah, that's the yeah. artist, but good, good. Yeah, no. But, I would have yeah, liked, like I said, Metabots. Yo. Anything before the third season, too. yeah. We have the technology for it. We have the technology to make that rock now. That's facts. That's facts. Like, we did try, I mean, we got Transformers up. You know? Right. Ooh, wait a minute. Yo, what if they did live action? A live action Metabots? With they like Optimus Prime graphics, they can do that. They can do that. Yo, that would be dope. <laughs> I, I watch. Uh, I mean, definitely. bro, the pick the detective Pikachu was actually looked great. It looked really well. It was, was done. Good. Nice. So I I'm not a, got a sequel to that yet. Look, detective the Pikachu and Sonic look great. So we're right. in the era where we can actually remake these movies and it not look trash. My guy, Beast Wars. That is what I'm waiting yes. for. hundred percent. Isn't there a new Beast? Isn't there a new Beast Wars Beast coming War. out or a, new, um, a comic or something with Beast Wars? They were talking about doing. They were there. There was conversation of them starting on a Beast Wars movie, but I will. I won't believe it till I see it. I'm not gonna lie, because it's gonna take a lot to do that. So it's, it's got. It's probably gonna be some years down the line if they do it. Plus, they got to see who going who's going is going to be Michael Bay again or somebody else. Not so, Bay. Hey, listen. Not Bay. I'm tired of Bay, but I know one thing. If I watch a Michael Bay movie, not to have my TV on bright because I might go blind with all them explosions. Yeah, that's true. They should have given him a Power Rangers movie, but that's just my opinion. <laughs> and speaking of Michael Bay explosions, bring back Robot Chicken. <laughs> <laughs> bring back Robot Chicken, man. <laughs> bring back Robot Chicken. I don't think it's gonna happen. I think Cartoon Network got bored yeah. out from what I heard. Yeah, it don't gotta so be on Cartoon that's Network. Thing we talked about on that one, we had brought that up earlier in the in the group. And I'm gonna switch gears real quick. We'll come back to this. But I agree, no rest. Beast Wars over. Hold on. You say switching gears? No, no, you good. <laughs> the whole Cartoon Network being bought out by HBO. Oh so yeah. Bring this up here. So I guess they got bought up by HBO Max. And then after the merger with Discovery, everything got taken down. And so it's literally everything is gone now. 
Yeah. Like they scrubbed them with certain shows. Certain shows got completely scrubbed. Ooh. Tax write off. Like nothing on YouTube, nothing nowhere. Unless it's pirated. Right. Yeah. Unless it's pirated sites. Yeah, I mean, rumor has it that's probably the main reason Young Justice season five will probably not gonna get a season five of Young Justice, unfortunately. Mm. Which probably sucks. Which sucks. But yeah, that. that's like horrible. I think that's right. something we need to speak on anyway. Shows that all um, never Cancel finished. Discovery Plus. That, that ended Cancel premature. Right Cancel Discovery Plus. I'm saying that right now. Cancel mm-hmm. Discovery Plus. That's, I agree. That's, that's going to be a hot topic one day. I think that's going to be one of the topics that we should do on while we're together. Yeah, good point, no right. Yeah, I love the Young Justice too. That's that show. Yeah, I do like Young Justice. Like yeah, that that shit, Young yeah. Justice, it, and it. It came at the perfect time because we got, we just lost Teen Titans. Yep, Big it was like right after that. Another another show that that was gone before its time. Teen Titans. Yes. Yep. The original. Yeah. Yes. Yep. I want to know who Red X is. Still. To this day. To yep. the, to this day. <laughs> to this day. <laughs> yep. To this day. I'll yeah, say this man. about Young Justice. I still say it's the best representation of DC Comics. Out of anything they've oh, ever it was, produced, I agree. It was one of their best shows ever. Even agree. Yeah, even though they they had a super confused with Robin, right? <laughs> they had a super confused, bro. Yeah. Like which right. Robin is it? We know what y'all saying he is, but he's doing this like that, Robin. So which Robin is it? Right. Wait for what? Young Justice or Teen Titans? No, for Teen Titans. Oh, Teen Titans, okay. Like because they we knew it was Dick Grayson. Like they said it was Dick Grayson, but he had. He had like attributes and doing stuff that the other Robins did too. So it was right. like, which he, Robin was? He was it? supposed to be Nightwing. Like, we well, know Nightwing, 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 Nightwing. He was supposed to be, but yeah, but right. then he was like, acting he like worked, everybody else. He did. He did some Tim Drake stuff. Then he did right. some <laughs> Jason Todd stuff. Shit. He just, yeah. and that's who yeah. I thought Red X was. I like that's Jason Todd. That would make so much sense. It would have been it, great. It, it would make sense, but I would agree with the word. Because Red Hood, no. <laughs> so back to the uh, the Dragon Ball piece. I I gotta throw this in. I I had to. No, it, I get it. Makes sense. But can they beat can Luffy lie. ass? They can't. <laughs> Everybody want to talk Goku. Can they beat Goku? But can he beat Luffy? He can't. He can't. Y'all, y'all see the hat? Right. You see the right. hat? <laughs> Wait. Hold on. Hold on. Y'all see the hat? On y'all see the hat? Well, he's on a whole other level now. By the numbers, hold on. And I had a thing, where that? Where that? Where that? By the numbers. Can they beat Luffy? Seven point oh five four billion yen in ten days. One piece is just a monster in Japan. One piece, one piece is good in Japan, just like Dragon Ball is good over here. Just... I'm gonna I'm I'm say this though: even What's to the card on? game sold out the first week. Oh yeah, most definitely. And we ain't even got it here in America yet. We it's don't even be December. horrible. And then, and then most people know One Piece is on the last arc now. I mean, you you know everything's gonna go gonna go crazier now. Like me and Jumbo already said, if we start playing. We're gonna buy like doubles of everything and put the ones that we're not gonna use in the, the, the box. Heck yeah, they're gonna be collector's items. Because if and when One Piece ends, that's gonna be a National Day of tragedy. I'll take, and I'm not even a One Piece fan. I'm saying that. But hear me out though. They did too much world building. To, ah, I can't talk. They did too much world building to just let it end. I feel like it's gonna be like it's gonna end. And he's like, ha ha, another story from another point of view. <laughs> Fifty-one million. One Piece, One Piece is just an animal. Dragon Ball is just, I don't know what's going on with Dragon Ball with its marketing in Japan or whatnot, but One Piece is One Piece. You know what I mean? Like One Piece is the best written world building anime I've ever seen. Oh, oh, by far. By far. Like, like I, I will put, so I will say this. I'm not going to say over an anime, yes. I will say an anime, yes. Yo, I need that book, Jumbo. We need to we need to make this a thing. I need the fandom to like get this to be a thing. Forget Waldo. I want to find Zora. Yeah, find right. Zora. <laughs> Forget the question Waldo. is not can we find Zora? Is can Zoro find himself? Right. 
Can you the nigga that's lost? Hey, hey, message. That's <laughs> deeper than y'all thought it was. Say it one more time. <laughs> it's Say not it one more time. if we can find Zola. It's Ken Zora. Zora be chilling somewhere. He might be in a duck tail. I'm like, wait, how's Zora in a duck tail? Yo, I wish you had the video I sent y'all on TikTok where somebody drew it and Zora came back was giving uh, everybody else in the crew items from other anime. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I got this from here, this from here. It was, it was There was one I saw. It was another one that's similar to that where he was like, if Zoro actually, if the Marines actually went after Zoro again and sentenced him to execution, he got too many Nakama now. And so, so of course, you see the Straw Hats, right? And they all mm-hmm. pissed. But then you start seeing all of everybody from Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> you start seeing people from Attack on Titan. <laughs> it's like every world that he had been visiting now Yo. coming into One Piece. So that when Zoro came back in the one I was talking about, he gave Chomper the fluid from Attack on Titan. Right. So oh, Chomper no. turned, he took a rumble ball and took the fluid and became uh, a Titan. See. <laughs> Yo. yo, yo, what if Chopper became the Beast Titan for real, for real? No. Yo, that'll be a good one. That would be though. sick. That, <laughs> that, that'll be lit. So I say, how do you guys think how do you guys think that a fan DBZ film that just came out is big as fan? You talking about that it, legend? It, like yes, that through? was that was great. We were supposed to um we was actually gonna do a watch party while we while they was here for Dragon Town of that. Yeah. But that was good. Like I love yeah. the concept. I love the art of man, bro. That art style nice. there. Yeah, if you know the lore of Dragon Ball, that was a good like homage yeah. to what Dragon Ball was, was originally made. It was originally. like I can't explain it. It was like a modernized ancient art <laughs> type. Right, that's the best way I explain it, it. It almost looked like a scroll. It looked like a scroll. Yeah. The scroll was brought to life. You want to tell what remind me of? Uh, the Batman movie where he went to Japan, Batman in Japan, Batman Ninja, oh, okay. yeah, yeah, Batman Ninja, yeah, that's what it reminded me of. Yeah, Batman Ninja. Mm. But that, that, like, that right Batman there, versus Shredder, that, that was a good fight. <laughs> that was <laughs> epic. I think I was actually I was talking to Duran about that. I was like, I w- I don't, I think the dude did great for Dragon Ball. Hey, Monty, how's it going? Um, but I want to see up, some of his own art. Like, think of it. If somebody can take that, take, can take Dragon Ball. With all the, even though it's very varied and it's a very wide area, there's still there's still constraints to it, right? If he could do that with Dragon Ball, what could he do with his own stuff where there are no constraints, just his imagination? Yeah, that team, and that took them four years. That's four years of work, but that little short. But that right, you could tell. And but I'm pretty sure there was also like not just doing that. You get what I'm saying? So if they were if they were getting paid to do that though. I'm sure they could probably have cranked it out in a much shorter time. Oh yeah, you know They're what I mean. The right people probably and got money. jobs and lives, and you know what I mean. <laughs> Everything mm-hmm. else. Don't you talk about Jay's hat? Wow, Jay, she getting on the hat, fam. <laughs> she, eh. she getting on the hat, fam. He's a one piece. You, you can't come bro. in choosing violence, Imani. You can't He's do a that. One piece like, that that how she will. Is she <laughs> here? Today is brought to you by Kakashi. <laughs> uh, he kept his word. I, I kept my I kept word. word. He did keep his word. He kept his word. Right top five best teacher in anime. He definitely top five Kakashi. Well, hold on. Since, since he got the Kakashi on, and she don't like my head, give me like two seconds. I'll go to the team. I'll be like that. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh oh. My way of request. We got one piece. Well, one piece. I think One Piece, like like I was just saying a few moments ago, I think like when One Piece ends, that's gonna be a net like people like you gonna see a lot of people take off work that day, that week. I won't be surprised. Some people will be in mourning after One Piece is done. I, I can see it. I can see it, but oh yeah, that's gonna be like a like that's going to be they should they should market wise, they should put the last like three episodes together in a movie and release it in theaters. As a finality of the of the whole thing, that's a good it's idea. They could get away with that too, or if like oh, yeah. they got, or like see the finale. You have to go to the movie theater. I, you know what? They could probably they would do something like that. I'm just I would. You telling me we've been doing this for twenty years and I'm about to end this wrap this bad boy up? Oh yeah, we going out with a bang. <laughs> oh, we gotta go out without a bang, with a bang. We going out with a bang, the bang, bang, boogie, the bang, bang. The... Oh, right, so I know I know Rod hasn't, so I'm trying not to spoil. 
What's up, uh, Vodka? How's it going? <laughs> Good to see you. Hey, Vodka. what up, Vodka? So, okay, have you caught up on One Piece? Who caught up on One Piece? You. Have you caught up on One Piece yet? Was that a real question? It was. Like, I'm two episodes behind. I didn't start watching the, <laughs> the Yuta stuff. I, I did that better. The episode that dropped today, I ain't watched yet. Okay, 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 okay. So I haven't, I didn't watch the one right before that with Yuta in it because I was like, that's yeah. red stuff. I'll wait. Tell me, yeah. tell me you stuff. did not drop a thug tear when he when he went Super Saiyan. Come Bruh. On. <laughs> did I drop a thug tear? I dropped a real tear. <laughs> oh, not even a thug tear. No, not it wasn't even thug. A real tear. I'm on. I'm still on like 396. I just yeah. am not. I'm on 396. That's where I'm at. Said, I'm at the store of Fishman Island. That's where I'm at. We just okay. watched 396 on in the Discord. Yeah, we literally just watched that. We literally Discord. just watched 396 in the Discord. Like the other day, he has a Air Force One energy punching that dragon. Little couple was, anime sessions. When he punched the Celestial Dragon, he yes. To, uh, I was yeah. like, because yes. the punch. I was like, we were talking about the punch. I said, let's go yeah. ahead, watch the punch. Jay pulled it up. You see, I had to change, y'all. Mm-hmm. See what I did. Like I said, yeah, so like, I'm a, uh, like when I get Thank when I get a more of a chance, I'm gonna really sit down and watch One Piece. Catch up. No, at least get to time. like, yeah. The closer we get, to, I'm gonna make sure by the time they get to the end of the manga, I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to finish at least try to catch, catch up. up yeah, I'm gonna try. Um, I'm gonna try. So, so you did you watch the punch? I appreciate you holding your end and watching. She did. She, did. she watched the punch with us, and then she said. It was trash. Wow. Baka, you oh. gave up on watching. You can't give up. You can't on give up. One it's not. It's not you necessarily giving up. up. This is. This is. This is how I watch One Piece. Literally, like I love it, but still, I only watch the dub, and I'm always caught up in the dub. So I watch all these other anime. I'm like, oh snap, let me go check One Piece. Oh, they got a hundred episodes. Let me binge those until I get tired. Oh yeah, and he got are. cussed out for that too. Cause Ain't we was no watching it, and I piece. was like, "What the f- is this?" I was Wait, the whole time. I Panda, what if we we finish one piece and then it like a one piece Kai? <laughs> I would one be piece pissed. Kai? I would be I would pissed. Die I'm gonna be I honest. Laugh. I would be pissed. <laughs> yo, we're not doing that. No, hey, the number yo. of nuances in that daggone show. No, there's no, no one cliff notes to this. Listen, it, it are so many key episodes that you just gotta watch as an anime fan, not a One Piece fan, as an anime right, fan. Right, as an anime fan. That, that episode in Trilla Bark when um Yo. when Zoro took all Lucy's pain. Yo, hold it. Let's 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 backtrack. Let's backtrack. Well, we you know go Zoro, my God, bro. I have Wait, Zoro. We don't go back to the beginning. As the number one right hand man in anime, bro. Period. Best hey, right hand man is a Zoro and um, like Jigen. That, That's probably didn't, top two right hand man is a Jigen and Zoro. What it really was, though, like he took the pain and he looking like, damn, this what my captain been going through, though? No, I can, uh, yeah, Monty says, I, I can respect what Imani says. She said, there's some parts I enjoyed, there's some parts I didn't like. But I can respect that. I can. So, I can I'm going to tell you what she's no, talking like, about. She did say that. She kept it a book. And you know, I like it. It was a book. So, you know what I mean? So what she didn't like was we was um when the octopus got shot and we was all like in the dramatic era of the show and then it just skips over to um Usopp um falling off the um fish and like made it so lighthearted. She like they kind of messed up the the feel that it was going with the show. Basically, they fucked the tension up, and she was like, "Why they fucked the tension up?" Oh, not the dog. Like Who is? Do y'all remember this man? I don't know. Y'all want to talk? Y'all want to talk about real, real moments in anime? <laughs> Bro, that's early One Piece. Choo choo, or Bro. chow chow, however y'all want to say it. I used to say chow. This <laughs> bruh right here. Oh, uh, she said <laughs> Rock is triggered. She said she's triggered. Oh, what you say? I can't look at white dogs in anime anymore, Panda. I'm so triggered. <laughs> you know what? I can agree with Rock on that you. aspect. No, I can agree with Rock on that aspect. I don't trust. I don't trust anybody yeah. with a white suit in an anime anymore. If you know why, that you also. Know why. Well, wait, wait. Jujutsu Kaisen, you can. He starts giving you faith in white suited people again. Yeah. Okay, I gotta watch Jujutsu Kaisen. So yeah, I yeah, don't yeah. trust old guys who have a. I don't trust old men in that period. 
Okay. I don't trust old men in anime, period. <laughs> I, don't trust, I don't trust old men with fascinations with dogs. I just don't do it. <laughs> That's a t-shirt, Baka. Anime is why I have trust issues. That's a t-shirt. Right? That, that definitely is a t-shirt. Y'all heard Merch coming that. soon. Merch coming soon. Merch coming soon. It's coming. With Put the trademark on it. But, man, one piece, gotta give his props. is on his last arc. Can't believe right. we're actually saying one piece and last arc. I didn't think, I thought I'd be in my 40s before I heard that one. I thought Look, I'd be in my 40s. Nigga, we got that far. <laughs> not that no far, way you gotta We really not that far though. <laughs> Look, and it's supposed to be three years. I'm gonna hit that mark before it ends. So I'm to say, I'm like, <laughs> we really not that far, man. Well, I came. I, I I left college and hey, almost got to the halfway point of my life. Like hey, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying. And that's if my, it. that's if they don't see. It's, see it's, Lulu it's really a possibility that the end of One Piece can cause a midlife crisis for us. They really could, like, bro, <laughs> bro. We really there. I'm <laughs> saving money for that just in case. <laughs> we really there, though. Like, <laughs> man, but we do the mathematics. So much- we about we about halfway through the life. You know what I mean? Like, so man. you understand. Know but what do you think Oda's gonna do after one piece? You think he's just gonna retire and chill? Gonna... Hell no. Let that man breathe. He Let that man live. He's gonna be like, all right. Nah, I don't want him to when end half up your like voice cast is retiring after your show. Bro, y'all all did a y'all did a great job. Pack it up. He need to. Yeah, I don't want him to be like Tagashi from Hunter Hunter. I don't want him to end up like that. I'll uh, oh, I, 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 be mad as hell if that happened. I will be Listen, mad as okay. hell. I was I, mad I, I'm upset. Wait, wait, wait. I, I'm upset. Because you said like that. First of all, you Yu Hawker show came before Hunter Hunter, sir. It did. That's it's not the happened. point. It's the point that he had to go that far. You, you gotta you can't you can't just say that without mentioning Yu Hawker show. You can't do that. That's disrespectful. <laughs> I, I get it. You get who okay. you to? So he did he went through both. How about that? He wrote both who you of talking both. to? Jay we, is we, not letting it go one? without the Yu Yu Hawker. That's why Yu Yu Hakusho ended the way it did, because that's when his back problems started back then, all the way back then. So I want to be there to click. Wow. She really said that to me, bro. She really Collecting said all that. the tears. I feel that. Okay, okay. I'm going to keep a bucket for you. Just make sure the tea tastes good, okay? These tears <laughs> is expensive. It is a trap. It <laughs> is a trap. Someone it's new is surface that they watch them. <laughs> I asked about Full Metal. If they don't say it, what is expected, they got to go. It's a trap. It's a trap. It's <laughs> it really is. That's real. So, side note, y'all know they released the uh, the second movie, live action movie for Full Metal, Brotherhood, with Scar in it. It's on Netflix right now. Oh, I forgot about that. The animation actually looks better than the first one, which actually really? was decent. Okay. I'm so, check it out. I haven't watched it yet, but I did see that it was on there. Gotta add it to the queue. Gotta add it to the queue. Yeah, game. me and Votab actually um, was thinking about cosplaying them next time around. Who we got Because we talked about like two. The Elrics. So gonna be the Elrics. Oh, yeah. So Vocab gonna be in? Yeah. Oh, yeah. We gotta bring Vocab Luke then. I got it. That makes sense. No, because I could be the armor nigga, bro. Really? I mean, I mean, I would say that, but we all know that his. Just calling him Pip Squeak and calling you Pip Squeak, on, get the same reaction. So we just already established this. Anytime it's two characters and one of them is significantly taller than the other, he has to be the tall character, bro. He's Goku. I'm how, Vegeta. how many other really? How many other comparisons are there? Like how many other? There's a Hold on, wait, there. wait, wait. You okay? Don't say nothing because one I cosplay this weekend actually depicts that. So don't say nothing. That's facts. That's facts. All right, so. <laughs> yeah. I told y'all I ain't gonna let y'all know what it is, but I had to give him one of them because, because I told him while well, he was like, bro. <laughs> like, oh, he told so y'all me, end up accidentally tearing up without yeah, thinking about like, it. On two of them, two out of them were tearing up. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah, so it is, it's two of them actually. Yeah. It's like, it's like, okay, it's so out of them, two, other than them two, how many other like tall short can you think of in across anime? It's a lot. There's you a, know an Asta? There's the ones that we doing. Then there's you know an Asta. Obviously, that, that Goku and Vegeta. But it's still it's well wait. Asta oh, Vegeta and Nappa. Sure Vegeta, Vegeta and Nappa. Nappa. I could see that, but not Goku and Vegeta. Nigga, Goku is taller than Vegeta. Goku's way taller than Vegeta. Tall, taller, but like not no six foot to three foot. 
Nigga, I'm not three foot, bitch. <laughs> My bad, bro. It was there. I had to take some it. Let me sit back in. My bad. That's definitely what everyone would say. Oh. But it's, but no. it's a cup. Um, a haiku. That's facts. I'm yeah, but you would have to do like the the tall dude with the glasses, not the center. I don't, I, I don't have to. Like it, it ain't got to be perfect. But we we all know that he's the shortest on. Yeah, on the, the team, short versus so. tall. Yeah. What about no? <laughs> I could have another one, but I'm, I'm not sure. It was there. You know what I mean? It was just there. <laughs> Like if, if I know he's not gonna want to do this kind of play, but we Rio and Morty from Simon King, Dragon Con, it's gonna be so disproportionate. Uh, true, true, true. Hey, what like, the... It's a lot if you think about it. I'm not gonna soul eater, but I forget who was really short and soul eater and have a tall partner. Uh, soul eater. it ain't necessarily I'd be a tall partner, but he could be uh uh Black Star, and I could be anybody else. Just about because Black Star was a short Black Star, yeah. And anybody, but he's my favorite. favorite. I'm in a cockpit with him. He's one of my favorites. Oh, Black Star's a real one. He's a real one. Black yeah. Star. Okay. Who, who you? Are you going? You going to do Black Star? Chopper and Luther. I said one day I'm going to do Black Star. <laughs> uh, yo, said Chopper you, and yo, Luther. If you going in for those, I'm not being Chopper because I I, I will definitely I will definitely pick Soul. <laughs> okay. I will rock no. Soul. Okay. So or, I gave um, Ocab an idea, bro. We was talking about this the other day. I was like, Ocab should do Soul in a suit, and when he was in the suit, yo, yo, I can see that. Like we were talking about, I don't know if y'all remember when me and uh, she said Chopper and Luffy. Chopper and Luffy. <laughs> I'm not gonna be Chopper, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's so cute and all alone. Can we keep him? <laughs> oh, no. I just thought of one for vocab and um, Jay right now, too. Two stupid dogs. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> I was gonna say Ed and Ed. Ed and Eddie. Yeah, oh, wait, you can be on um, Double D. Yo, <laughs> you brought it back too, bro. I love it. I love it. I oh, ain't man. go. I cartoon should come back. back. That one was so clean too, bro. It was. Not the two stupid. Are dogs. we really thinking about short and tall on <laughs> cosplay? I said Ash and Pikachu. Ash and Pikachu. <laughs> I'm done. All I'm right, new topic. Done. New topic. Although, new topic. although, let's be honest. At this point in, in Ash's life, they probably both the same height. Let's be real. <laughs> what? Hey, but hey, nobody can be Ash. Ash is the strongest anime character we've ever seen. He's saying, bro. I keep telling y'all he's a saying. Yeah, he's Goku, he's Goku's son. He's Goku's little Ash was kid. carrying Lavatar like it was the baby, bro. Like that man, yeah, that man is he's also been 10 years for thir- 10, 10 years old for 30 years. Right. That is a thing. He do not I mean, age. That's a thing. That's a Dragon Ball hair, Super Spiky Spiky black sport. hair. He can take all types of energy blasts to his body and not die. And how, many not times die. Did, how many times did Pikachu kill him? Should have killed him. His heart should have stopped. <laughs> Yo, he picked up a Lavatar, bro. Look right, how much a Lavatar weighs. How many thousand pounds? No, he picked up one in a seven gen. That was like the little two thousand pounds. The little yeah. star? I don't know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah. I forgot how much. I think it was like two thousand pounds or something. Something crazy. Right. In a lot. He carries oh. he carries multiple Pokemon on his back as he runs to Poke Centers on the regular basis. We're not talking about in his balls. We're talking about on his back, in his, in his hands. Him off of it. Itachi. Itachi and that's not a real big that. size difference. That's though. not a big size. Now, uh, what's her what's her name? The ice chick, Z- uh, Zabuza and yeah, we could do that one. I forget the H one. Haku, Haku. and, um, and Haku Zabuza. And Zabuza. Zabuza. Mm. Yeah, that's a good one. Put that on the back burner. Definitely put that. Okay, so yeah, I guess ten gen and one of the all, one of the three. Yeah, from Demon Slayer. Mm-hmm. You do uh, Kurokawa and Hiei. True. Yeah, yeah, yeah argue but, like, but hold on, but you, you know they ain't letting me do one. Character. So I just <laughs> said, I literally <laughs> said, but you know they's not letting me. Be <laughs> yeah, he's not gonna let you be careful. That's, 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 that's not gonna character, happen. Bro. Look, like, Venom is Spider Man. True. That's facts, bro. Mm-hmm. Which one though? Which one you want? I'm Venom, so I'm cool. <laughs> I know that. I mean, not AJ, okay, I'm gonna be, be superior Spider Man. True. So you want to be Doc Ock and Spider Man's body? I gotta be Miles. You can be Miles Morales. He's even shorter. I got to be. Wow. Him. wow. He's an Afro Latino. 
Uh, while we were on there, I did want to pull up while we were still on the Dragon Ball before we go too far away from it. They pulled this BS out of nowhere. Uh, oh, you all are quite aware of this now. What is it? Oh, oh the Fortnite. Goku and Fortnite. It's not just Goku. I know. Vegeta too. And Bulma. And somebody Jungle else. Batman and Robin. That's also a good one. Yeah. <laughs> but which Robin would he be? No, I gotta be nothing, bro. I gotta be nothing, bro. Oh, I was gonna say Damien. Oh, yeah, I was gonna say Damien too. Nothing, You're right, you I was gonna everybody. say Damien. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it, it makes the most sense. But my favorite Robin is Nightwing. So I, gotta I feel that him. respect. Okay. But yeah, so I guess they they finally put him in. They got the Nimbus Cloud and Goku and Krillin, Bulma and, and right. Command Mayor. Yeah, go home and Krillin. Anybody in Krillin actually? <laughs> Yo, Krillin and Chaozu. Krillin. Bro. Krillin is a beast. I can't. I, I can't do Chaozu. I can't do it. Bro. I can't Not Chaozu. I can't do it, bro. You can be the yeah, um. Zeno. You, know, Zeno. you can be Zeno. Nah, bro. You be Dende. I'm fucking Vegeta. Bro. Dende is tall as shit, bro. Popo. Yep. Dende is. That's racist. Hey, that's racist. <laughs> <laughs> that's very racist. <laughs> From one black person to another. That's All right, racist. you right, because you are darker than me. <laughs> That's colorism. Colorism <laughs> at its finest. And this podcast does not support colorism. Eat a lot of nigga out of the four of us. Yeah, yeah. I probably no, no. It's a tie between me and Jay. Nah, you nah, like Jay got you a little bit. Uh, you, you're, you're, not, oh, you're, you're like because you, you work in the light. sun that you're darker than me by any capacity. If you did not and you worked inside, you would be the same color as me. I'm dark. I just it don't matter what it would have been. It's uh, you got good been. lighting. Yeah, whatever. Nah, anyway. but this uh, people been one Dragon Ball and Fortnite forever, so I mean, not my cup of tea, but hey, I don't even play Fortnite. Hey, I just want to play one time, hit somebody with a command me, and I'm done. Hey, I've been seeing a lot of people say that too. Like, I'm done. Just say you did it. I respect it. And then we were just talking about that 23 year old. That was the record. 23 years since mm. uh, Pokemon. Pokemon. I was like, I know man. it had it here somewhere. Couldn't find it. That's amazing. With with the lack of marketing it's had, it'd be Pokemon in the U.S. That's amazing. Oh yeah, that's, I mean, but it, that's that's here. Like you were saying, they bro, really didn't say nothing about it till like a week before, for real. They put it What's, out there. Well, we had been getting leaks and stuff like we've been talking about for the last month. Mm-hmm. Yep. So we was waiting on it for the most part. They should have hurried up and released it in the U.S., but maybe they knew they were going to make most of the money over here, too. That's another reason maybe they were taking so long. They could have. They wouldn't worried about it. Yeah. You know what I mean? If they knew they were going to make it up on the back end. True. I mean, I t- I'm taking business and marketing class. It would make sense. Not the strategy I would have went with Dragon Ball, but I get it. Mm-hmm. From a marketing mm-hmm. and PR standpoint, I wouldn't have did that with Dragon Ball. Actually, I would have did a global release. They're going to probably next Dragon Ball Super movie or whatever. They're going to have to do a global release just to curtail the the, um, the curtail the spoilers. And yeah. I know we were talking but about I mean, that. If, hypoth- a- if even after the spoilers, they're still made as much as they did, they still outdid Pokemon with the spoilers. Like, True. think about it that way. You know what I mean? Like, the spoilers could have been, as you were saying, intentional to boost. Because any publicity is good publicity. When it comes True. to certain things, so even That's though bad. people are saying that it's bad, people want to go see it. Just, they, it can't be that bad. It's super. You know what I mean? I know I thought it. I, you know what I'm saying? I'm sure you thought it too. It's still it's still Dragon Ball Z Super. I still want to see how this plays out. I still got their stuff in the people's conversations in my head, but I'm gonna still go see it because it's Dragon Ball Z Super. Dragon Ball Super. You know what I mean? Exactly. Yeah, I'm gonna go see it anyway. So right. Yeah, but when we talk about Dragon Ball Super. I know we were talking about Black Freezer. I'm well just talk about that right now and get wrap Dragon Ball. With- in the, in the neat bowl here. Yeah. There you go. Oh, Black Frieza? So, first off, I gotta say this. All the memes I've seen with him with waves, Yo. candy bottles, and Tim's. Like, you he gotta give him more of that, bro. Yo. I was <laughs> dying. Boy, the nigga been rocking the ball. You gotta give him some waves, bro. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not mad at it. I'm not. You wanna see some? See the zennies? See. I would put him in some black tents. Nah, I that's what black... somebody did. Oh, they put him in the black tent. Somebody I saw, think... somewhere I saw one where he had black tims on and a bottle of henny and a New York's fitted. 
I said this is one of the Facebook groups I said when they said freeze the dispatch that he was to go see you skate. <laughs> right. Well see that. <laughs> he went to go see know. Yusuke. <laughs> Nigga, sure enough, did go see Yusuke, though. Right? So I guess but. he was in the hyperbolic chamber for some time that he found on a planet that he had taken over, and he stayed there for 10 years straight. <laughs> they say he unlocked a new transformation. He killed Gas, who was supposed to be the strongest mortal, and he one-shotted Ultra Instinct Goku and Ultra Ego Vegeta. Mm. He gut-shot them, too, so... <laughs> I don't care so, who you are. Gut shot, knock you out. I don't care who, what nobody said. Oh, yeah, you, hit that, you hit that, uh, that sternum, it's a wrap. <laughs> Solar plexus? Take somebody out. But yeah, like so I'm interested years. to see what they're going to do with who who they're going to allow to take him out. I want to see Gohan or Broly. Gohan or Broly. I'm hoping Gohan. I'm hoping Vegeta, but I said this is something else I Yo. said in, a, in another um, Facebook group I was in. I said, you know what? Just out of spite, because Vegeta did kind of prophesy this a little bit with Goku. He's like, we're gonna come back and regret Frieza being alive after the tournament of power. And I yeah. said this, I said this in a group chat. I said, you know what? I know this is not gonna happen, but I would love to see Vegeta sit this out out of spite. To see Goku finish him. I would love to see Vegeta just sit out out of spite. Like I feel like with in Dragon Ball nature is gonna end up being a fusion, but I feel like either Vegeta deserves to be the one to take it. Mm-hmm. I would love to see Gohan do it, but just for mm-hmm. shits and giggles, let Broly do it. <laughs> what I mean, if they Broly kind of did it already. I mean, Broly probably was the inspiration for this anyway. Huh? What if they redo a cell situation? For example, nah, we, just take, take we just had some. Oh, what? That's a spoiler. Never mind. <laughs> well, yeah, no, 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 I'm just saying. We like, already knew. We already knew. Like, about we don't care about spoilers over here. Like Rod was saying, if Vegeta sits out out of spite, right. he's like, I told you so, which is definitely a Vegeta thing to do. He lets Goku it's fight. Definitely Goku that sits there and starts fighting. And then it's like, you know what? I'm going to let my son finish this off. Just and then like he'll he freeze the sense with me. It, let's say, if he gets free the sense with me, sense Gohan with me. deserves to beat his dad's ass, bro. Yeah, I, yes. yes. <laughs> Just be like, 100%. okay, I'm ready to fight dad. Then Goku throws the sense with me. He's like, freeze Hold on a second. <laughs> no, no. No, shoot the bean out the sky. We're not doing this twice, dad. <laughs> no, Piccolo would have shot it out the sky. Like, no. Nope. Right. No, no, we're not doing nope. this again. No, no, no. Saying, does anybody got a sense of being for sale, though? Because this Goku did the same thing in the moral arc. He gave, he gave moral sense of being. And, was, and I was mad as hell in the moral arc. You know what I'm saying? I still think um, Sale would have been a better pick for the Terminal of Power than Freezer, though. That's just me. No, I mean, no yeah. it's a legit argument. It's a legit argument. I'm not going to lie. Which, say, which version of Sale? Perfect Sale. I would like, y'all know the only real reason I fuck with Freezer because he's purple. I would not have put perfect cell in if I was gonna put cell. Why? I'd have put first form cell. So first he can form? absorb in 18 and 19? Yes. No, so absorb, that, no, so he can absorb everybody there. He will. Oh, he can still do it. Yo, but he died as his purple form, so there's no oh, way to regress. Oh, him. Oh, right, yeah. he can't regress after that. But this is the thing. He could no, we're not bringing Garlic Jr. because he could have caught no. Des. What is it? The rabbit dude was it Despo, whatever his name was. Mm-hmm. He could have easily caught him, absorbed him. But that's killing him. He would have been disqualified. Hey, exactly. Hey, wait, check me out, but does check he me have? Out. But did he have to kill them to do that, or could he just keep them within an inch of their life? No, he has to literally absorb and kill them. So. It's not absorbing nothing, like. Well, check me out, though. Everybody know the famous scene with Cell, right? What if uh-huh. Cell had absorbed Gohan? Jesus H. Christ. And Super Saiyan 2? It wouldn't happen. Like, no, no, I'm, I'm saying what if he did. Like We know what he did before, so he was in perfect sense, so obviously he can't absorb him. But imagine... So, um, a super saiyan no, two. No, I think go on want to kill him from the inside. Like Yo, evil, 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 evil thought, evil, evil thought. Think it? about the absorber thing. It's only one person who can absorb people without killing them. Boo. Boo. This is what happens now. I, come In on, the beginning, this. let's just say Baby. Gohan's like, I got an idea. Here, here we are. Gohan has an idea. He super command man's boo, and boo just splatters everywhere. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. And then he goes around just absorbing everybody, and him himself just jumps off. 
with everybody in him. That motherfucker wasn't a term of fuck. I can see somebody right now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I can see that shit, bro. Because yeah, going would probably put so something like that. At least get one universe out that way. So not even here, that, here's like, a question on that whole boo thing. Do how do how well do you think Kid Boo would have fared in, in the power? power? Uh huh. Um, I, I think one of the tri troopers would have. It would have been Topo and and Jiren would probably been the toughest for him if without absorbing or turning the king. They would have been the toughest fight for him. So everybody, but he with Kid. If we're going with just legit Kid Boo, he would have got disqualified. Yeah, he would have killed everybody. Him. He, he would have got disqualified. I love him. That's true. He would understand. He probably would have killed somebody. Yeah. He's not smart enough. He's not smart enough to be. Yeah, he, he didn't care. Yeah, that's he's true. He's just that's pure true. chaos. Okay, I give you, you that. He's, he's pure chaos. You can't. You can't have him. Baby will be interesting though. Baby will probably be interesting though. Oh, baby will be hilarious. I, I so I can't. See. He probably just as well the same. Like, boo is my favorite boo, bro. Yeah, of course. Boo boo is, yeah, he's nasty. That's, he's that's he's just he's just pure chaos. He's, he's just pure chaos, bro. Yo, so I have a question. This is this is my last question. Um, let's just say there was three Dominicans in the tournament of power, right? Right. Uh, Would have Piccolo beat the other Dominicans, but then throw a mop, he absorbed them. Oh. We've been disqualified. He didn't kill them. It's not killing them. Yeah, their consciousness is still alive, just like Kami's and Nails' consciousness is still alive that's in Piccolo. Like right. when he absorbed Kami, they like, what are we gonna call ourselves? Ankylope. We're gonna keep the name Piccolo. Piccolo. They're not the same being anymore. Yeah. Yeah, that's a tricky one though. That's a tricky one. All he had to do was beat them to where they can't stop him and just put his hand and absorb it. Well, I think it gotta be neutral. I think they both gotta want it. Yeah, Pause. I think it <laughs> it's gotta be neutral. No, they gotta agree to it. Agree, <laughs> agree. I'm not some Batman with you, honestly. Up. Agree. <laughs> you can't make me. I said agree. <laughs> um, that's a bit much there. Um, no, we're not doing that. Uh, are we going to get to the sports thing? We are will, we going to talk we about will. it? But before we do that, are we going to talk about it? We going to talk about it. Before we do that, though, I do want to get. I know y'all better have the same answer as me. The updates no, for no. new anime coming out. So I'll, I'll fireball. Me. I'll fireball no. around these. Uh, I'm gonna put it in call the them, chat. Fire these. In our First chat. Off, in our chat. We got update from Black Clover. Not gonna be back till 2024. Ouch. Okay. Okay. So the manga might be over by then. Yes, sir. The manga might be over by then. Right. I want to say the manga's over. Are we getting the movie though? Yeah, the movie's still going. I didn't hear anything else new about the movie, so I don't know. Okay. I don't know. Um, we got Demon School. Welcome to Demon School Aroma Season Three. It's coming Wait out August, uh, no, October Wait of this year. Because the way that oh, they, I, they they ended it, uh, you know, I was just like, isn't that a, a a horrific ending? But I was like, come on, bro. Season yeah. two, they like they they prepped us for him getting some powers and he yeah. didn't give us nothing. So yeah, it was like yeah. But it wasn't him in this one. He clearly did way worse this year. As yeah. far as the ending go, so I was like, I gave it a pass. Yeah, you know I mean? yeah. especially because it ended a little bit before the platinum end ending. So I right. was like, oh, I gotta finish <laughs> watching it now that you said that, vocab. Platinum end is still the worst anime ending for me in a long time, bro. Yeah, bro. Like, and I, I thought so. Even had a tragic ending. I don't know if y'all watch Platinum End, but if you, I gotta finish it. it. I gotta finish watch it. Watch it. And then come back and talk to us about how the ending made you feel. Yes. This is wait, wait. You got in, you got in with this. This is a safe space. This is a safe space. This is a safe space. Because you won't need a safe space. <laughs> yeah, it's horrible. That's how. You, mind, you, said you you saw the end of of uh, Platinum End. Yeah. What? How? Yeah. How'd you? What'd you think about it? I don't know. It's the same dude I did Death Note. I know their endings can be hit or miss. This so thing. I. I Aquaman good, right. Death Note controversial. I can see this is a safe space, y'all. And he made you mad. Yeah, yeah. we don't. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's, it pissed the whole group off. We were, he was really out here ready yeah. to fight people. Bro. <laughs> I was like, it's something. Wait, let me check this yeah. Like the ending 
was like the worst cliffhanger ever. Yeah. Bro. Yeah. Bro. Listen. I'm going to catch Pokemon I won't. If I don't want to, I ain't catch it. Um, for Jay, look what we got. Did you see it? Have y'all seen it? Plans for second season. Oh, yes. I'm ready. Oh, my God. Yep. And a new uh, and an OVA as well. Or so, no. short thing on Skate the Infinite. Y'all remember, like, I think it was like, wait, 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 Pause. I just added it to my list. I'm not going to talk about the anime. Okay, I'm just saying it's in my watch list right now. <laughs> Literally, then it could have been. Avoided. I just ain't started yet. Yeah, okay, yeah. it, I'm not gonna tell you about the anime, but this is my thing. Y'all no, remember when I was talking no, about no, um, writing some mangas, right? Right. So one of mine was gonna be a joke manga, and the joke right. manga was gonna be like it's a dude who thinks he's the main character, but actually it's his best friend. That's funny. Whoa. That escaped the infinite. Nice. And it made me so mad, but I couldn't remember laugh. Yes, sir. I feel that. I feel that. That's an interesting idea. That. You know, I ain't trying to write on my English, though, but RDC did a skit like that. Yep. Ever that since they did that skit, I've been always thinking about somebody needs to, like, really write this shit. That's why I'm doing That's, that's what, what I'm saying, bro. Because the skit was fine. Stop bringing the dog up. It was like, when you, know, <laughs> the skit was like, when you don't Accident. know that you're a side character. That's that's what they did. And he's like, right. why? He's like, nah, me too, right? He's, oh my god. Where'd they go? They they fighting too fast for me to see. I'm a fucking side I'm character. I'm a side character. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. But see, the way I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna have it to where it's gonna set up like the dude is telling the story, but then like out of nowhere his the new guy just comes up and is a real MC. Mm. So he's gonna try to fight the big bad and end up losing and gonna get saved. <laughs> then he's Body gonna get like dude. a Look like he's gonna lose an arm or something, and the dude gonna transform because he's so upset. He's like, "This is my story." <laughs> yeah, I can see that. Could the time I got reincarnated to a world I thought I was an MC and wasn't an MC. Right. There you go. Well, you know, you, I I mean, you know it gotta be super long. Yeah. You know it gotta be super long. That's right, extra long. Right. The time I got reincarnated, I was hand hand drawn things. Oh, I couldn't so see that part because your name was covering it. A mob coming out. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mob coming first season. In October. So everybody, it it's better be done. just as good as the first two. They have two twenty thousand hand-drawn frames in one episode of this one. Mm. That sounds great to me. That That's means this crazy. is going to be whatever fight that is. Look, I'm not going to lie. It's going to be wild. It's Yo, next week we should do that. Um, the one I sent y'all with all the um fight that's in manga that we're waiting to get animated. Yes. Okay. I'm with that. Because everybody know the Kaido and Lucy fight is one of them. And the big mom and the long kid. Warning, disclaimer for those of you who who get seizures and shit. If you see my psycho. I'm gonna need season three to have psychedelics and shit, bro. <laughs> Every other season is added. I, I need no, but I mean like warning. Yeah, they're gonna have to put a warning Every on the show. <laughs> yeah. If you are photosensitive, mob psycho, yeah. wear sunglasses when you are wear my watch mob psycho. Wear dead nigga, okay? Because yeah. yeah. You're not gonna take any of the devil's letters beforehand no. either. Don't do that. Was. Not the devil's lettuce. It can be the angel's lettuce too. I don't care. Don't don't partake none of it. Or the angel's dust. Right. <laughs> the devil's Definitely don't the take the angel's dust. dust. Don't take the angel's dust. Don't, don't do that one. That, that, that's bad. Jay Chappelle, I ain't know you like to get wet. Yeah, I can see how it uh, Now, there's a new one. I don't know if y'all are aware of this anime or not. I watched Undead it. Undead Unluck. <laughs> Oh, wait for that one. It's finally, finally, finally uh, Rocket said <laughs> the devil didn't make it. The devil didn't make this it. This one, just another one has been long. Oh, that, that was Jumbo said that. Jumbo said devil didn't make it. Vodka said devil's let us wear. 
<laughs> this one's been long. That's a, just like Sakamoto Day. This is another one's been long overdue to get an anime. Now. Long overdue to get one. Nah, definitely, yeah, that, definitely. It, it's hella overdue. I'm actually excited for Chainsaw Man. I'm, I'm yeah. eh about Chainsaw Man. I'm not gonna lie. Is it is it bad that I watch anime so much that I've seen anime that don't exist yet? <laughs> nope. Where? How? If it don't exist, if it don't exist, how you watch it? That's, In your that's dream? Multiverse theory. That's the point. So he and his no, dream. No, but under the luck, I've I've read a couple of chapters. This is a, it's an interesting premise. So it is. Now, yeah, I'm looking forward to this for them to get an adaptation of. Uh, yeah, just like Sakamoto Days is in production right now. Thankfully, this is also in production. Thankfully, because mm-hmm. they've been like in the top five with like One Piece and Shonen Jump for a while now. So long overdue for both of them. Hopefully, yeah. Hopefully, yeah. Because this deserves this deserves um the praise it gets. Because it's a good series. It's a good series. So I'm you glad to get the rundown down. on it. Huh? You want to give a quick rundown on it? Pretty much is like about from what I remember, because it's been a while since I've read the stories, like one of the main characters I think is like can't die, and the other one's super unlucky. So they yep. become a pair and undead unluck. That's the title. Pretty yep. much. So like the main character, like she's like he said, completely unlucky. He's that, that person that everything bad happens to everybody around him. And so she tries to off herself <laughs> and runs into the guy who can't die. And so in them being the pair that they are, they're tr- both trying to end each other's lives for them for each other, and they can't get it done. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it's it's a uh, it's interesting. It's definitely interesting. So that one is one. Uh, what else do we have? Oh, that was a good quote, but we'll get to that. Oh uh, yeah, I'll get there, and we'll get to that one here once we get to the the sports stuff. I believe. Oh, Bungo Stray Dogs season four comes in January. I didn't get the image for that one, so I apologize. Got my hero Uh, season six too. Bring that up. Yes, sir. Go ahead. What was that one? Both of them. My hero season six. Okay. My hero season six. One Punch season three. Also in. Bo Fury season two. Bo Fury. One Punch. I don't want to get hurt, so I put all my stats on defense. That is hilarious. That show is funny. Uh, what else coming out? I think that was all as far as the anime. next season of um, Rise of the Shield Hero. I hope they pick up because that season last three? season was kind of, yeah. When are they supposed to be bringing that one out? I think early next year. Do you guys think about it? Say again. Do we gotta speak about it? No. Okay. No. Jay looked no. lost. He the one who brought it up. Oh, uh, I didn't know what you said. Still, I'm still trying to figure I said, out. Do we gotta speak about it? No, we ain't gotta speak about it. Okay. I thought okay. you said something like that. I thought you. Tanner heard me. He was like, <laughs> yeah, "No, yes, sir. <laughs> leave that. Leave that be." Uh, yeah. So let's go ahead and jump into the sports category. Are we doing? Show. So this cut this question came up. Oh, yeah, we're gonna leave we we'll leave the rest of that for later. Yes, sir. Uh conversation came up. Hold on, wait, before we bring it up. In the chat. If you if you in the sports, let me, let us get let's get a, a thumbs up or something so we know what's up. Cause we, it's about to get about to get like that. Just for a minute here, just this is a good debate. It's a good question. Yeah, we, we got a little a short debate. No, it is okay. not. Really it is people. not. It's not. It's, I mean, it's a clear cut answer, but it's not gonna be long. But, but we, people, we gotta break off you know to this we, we had earlier. We just wanna give people a, a chance to 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 formulate their wrong opinions. <laughs> wow. Because we yeah, know y'all idea goes on. They even already agreed with me. Right now, you see what happens. Only one answer. Head. Okay. But so go ahead. this is this is what I want. I want to know who is the second, not the first, because we already yeah. know the first. Let's, we want to know who the second. Let's start here. Is. Here's the question. Who would be the best if it weren't for their injuries? Let me see the chat first before. Let we me see talk. what the chat got to say. Chat first before we talk. Let's see what the chat got to say. You got um Brandon Roy. We're gonna go from right. To, Huh. There yeah, left to right. Brandon Roy, Roy T Mac, Tracy McGrady, Derek Rose, Derek Rose Grant Hill, Hill, and Penny Hardaway. 
this is so now, easy. I, had to is, I did. I did decide to like one up y'all, and we can switch it up. What you did? If you what want, you what'd you do? What do you got? We'll come back. What'd you do? Same oh, you question. added more. Oh, you. Ooh, oh, 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 you added hold more. on. Right. Oh, oh, right wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Behind you, real quick. Yeah, yeah. Move it a little bit closer. A little bit, just a little bit to the center. Oh, okay. Oh, so what's that? Is that Pete right there? We got Pete, and we got, and we got. Um, guess what? Pam. Guess what, Panda? Guess what, Panda? Uh, same, same answer. Same answer. answer. What? Same oh, answer. For now, the second might have changed. Now My the second might have changed. changed. It's still the same oh, answer. So Jumbo added, leave. Added Pete. Jumbo and leave. The question, which we player would have been the best? Had the best career if it weren't ruined by injuries? Jumbo Actually, leave. Yeah, that's the second answer leave. for me. What are they talking about in the chat? What they talking Rose, about? T Mac, Tracy, and I, D Rose. Okay, so you got D Rose's number two, Monty? Is that you know what? what? I think mine's what changed now. Because I got a tie for second. I got a tie for second now. Don't say my second just changed a little bit. I ain't going to lie. My second might have changed. My, my I got a tie for second now because of this list. I got a tie. I'm sorry, Jumbo. I said what I said. Hey, you said what you said. You a dead. I said I said what I said. Okay. Who you, you want me to go first, bro? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. 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 As the best will be the and best player, because I think T. This as a, I'm going with quality over quantity, honestly. But you know what? Come to back to me. Let me rethink quality? this because I might have a three way tie. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, oh, friend, who is your pick? You trying to say T. Mac ain't quality? I'm not in this conversation. Okay, this is all y'all. Oh, this is this, I'm gonna say one thing for my argument. This is all I'm gonna say. The, the late great Kobe Bryant. They in the interview they asked him who was mm-hmm. one player who was the hardest person to defend, and he Shut said, up. hands down, he says, Not even a question. The person who it's the look up, it's the, the look up for me, in his <laughs> no. it's the look was up Chase for me. <laughs> it's All right, are you done? Appreciate that. Are, are you done? I'm just saying, are you done? I'm sorry. Oh, man. I, I was saying. I'm sorry, Ace. I'm sorry. I'm going to sit my Tracy McGrady. Kobe Bryant said the only player that he worries about holding was Tracy McGrady. That's all he said. If we get the stats of Tracy McGrady and compare him with anybody else's stats in the same position or closer position, Tracy McGrady wins. The only reason why I had to say that because it's kind of hard to – to look at Tracy McGrady stats compared to Yao Ming stats because they're not in the same position. Oh, Bonnie, that's a good one. Hey, Are you funny? Are you funny? The only time. Are you funny? The only time Jay's going to look up. Okay. <laughs> okay. But you can't really compare Tracy's career to um, Yao Ming's career, Chris Webber's career, two different positions, two different styles of play. That's something that you – it's going to be rough. To, now, if you want to say – Chase McGrady and Derrick Rose, you can more or less yeah. argue that. The reason why I don't say Derrick Rose is strictly because if you were just to go by their career of the time that they played in their prime, Tracy was better than Derrick. All right, but so who you go, so are you going? You going with Derrick for number two then? My number two is a tie between Derrick and Penny, to be honest. Okay, I can see that because Penny that's, got injured a lot, lot earlier. I than would did. like that too. If we not taking position into account, then I could throw I could throw Grant in that mix. I mean, you can throw Grant, but I'm gonna say this. No, I didn't want to mess you. See how I feel. See how I feel. The yeah, I feel. Talk your shit, nigga. Talk your shit, nigga. <laughs> Go to finish. <laughs> Honestly, um, looking at this list, I I would have, I have a three. I think I have a two or three way tie for second. Honestly, looking at with this picture we got up right now, 
number one, I want to say Grant. I think Grant will barely edges out Tracy for me because I think if Grant would have wouldn't have gotten injured the way he did, I think the Pistons would have had a better, better, been better in the long run. I, I, agree with that. I do agree with that. That's why I'm giving Grant. He had a better edges. team. They, I'll give Grant that well, much. He has the bad boy Pistons too at that. Yeah, yeah. He, he might have still been there. You're right, Boca. He might have still been playing when the bad boy Pistons came to play. He could have still been playing. My three way tie actually is going to be T Mac, okay. okay, Bill Walton, and Penny. Three way tie for second. I'm surprised you said Walton. I'm not going to lie. I'm surprised. I know my bad. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I, yeah, I, I was keeping the middle name. I ain't even thought, think about it. <laughs> because Bill Walton was. And his error, he was just about as good as maybe Walt and some of the other big men of his error. He got crippled with his injury. Like he definitely, he he definitely was up. holding it down. Well, I, so, I wouldn't, not number two. It's, I'm that's, say, that's why I said he's throwing away time down? because because well, um, remember the Walton, the argument is Penny, not about and team and their injuries ruined. But that that plays a role in this argument, though. Position plays a role, but it, it's the question is who would have had the better career. And their position, like if you okay, so with the question you're saying, if none of these guys got injured, who career would be better? Right. So career has it's, nothing to do with points scored. It has to do with how their career would have shaped around when they played. Think about that too. Yeah, that's that. Right. Okay, that's, that's so, another reason I'm thinking right now. I got a question. I got a question. How are you going to measure? Are you going to ask who's going to win more rings, or are you going to ask who's going to have better stats? So, per position. And again, this is me looking outside in because I'm not I'm not the sports guy y'all are, right? Yeah, this right, is me right, looking right. in on it from the outside. Right, right. Per position, each position has certain things that make you a good person no, in right. that position. No, that's true. Right. So the question is, for the position that they played, would they have been equal? Okay, I'm just going to take what I do know. I'm going to take Shaq and Kobe, right? Mm-hmm. Kobe, uh, Kobe is moving the ball. Shaq's the big man down. Who was keeping up with Shaq when they played? Nobody. What Nobody. other big man could keep up with Shaq? Shaq is the, the only rival he had right dominant, there next to your head. The most dominant big man to ever play. Well, I'm just talking about big man, though. That's He's a big, y'all mean. Dominant big. Right, y'all mean. Right? Yeah. So in order to... If I was saying that. Right, but the thing is, both of them, both Shaq and Kobe, had great careers in their position. That's Shaq. So if we're looking at for example, we'll say T Mac and Yao Ming in this situation. Would Yao Ming have had a great career as his position? Would it have outdone the achievements of T Mac? I'm not saying yes or no. You get what I'm saying? I'm just well, they saying played they played together, so yeah, that's right. They, they would have played together. together. I thought it was funny. He said, like, you oh, know, they played well, together. If, right, right. If he's going base like that. Because Yao Ming, the, I'm just saying you're looking at the Yao career. Ming with the injury is a Hall of Famer. He's already in there. And you can say the same thing with Bill And Julius and I, he would have been a Hall of Famer. You can say the same thing with Bill He already has a great career. It was just short. Right. And also, another thing that plays a role in this is the era that they played in. That's also true. true. Like, if I'm not mistaken, Derrick Rosen is the youngest one in there. He was, he's, like, the he's the only one still playing. He's the, literally. Yeah. Yeah. So, Mm-hmm. But this Everybody is this is my elephant in the room. This is my elephant in the room. If one person I got I gotta mention just because he's on this list. If Brandon that. Roy didn't get injured, we would not be having this conversation about a lot of play. It, it's a lot of teams that would not have made it th- through the playoffs I, I, because of that team. I didn't know we were gonna go with it. I, I, I just I had I just had to mention him. I he he not in my top three, but if he didn't get injured, the team that they had, yeah, bro, no, for sure. They had for a sure. bad team, they had a bad that team. Was, I didn't know where he was gonna go with it, but I, and just imagine if he I'm stayed healthy good. enough by the time Dame got there. Yeah. No, Jay, you're making a better argument for him now. Funny enough, you're actually making a better argument for Rose. I mean, for um Brandon Roy, you're actually making a better argument for him. I mean, he's not in my top three. Though. All, all these players are great players. Don't get me wrong, but Tracy's a different animal to all these yeah, players. Tracy's that's honestly, I say oh, this: no, no. Tracy should have mm-hmm. never left Toronto, but I get why he left. No, mm-mm, no. If if Tracy would have stayed on any team, if he was on the Magic when they had um, the White mm-hmm. Howard and they had that title run, that now, that would have been ugly. Yeah. That would have been that, ugly. That been you a had Rashad Lewis, uh, Hito Turkoglu, Jamil Nelson, 
That was a bad team. Dwight. And they put Tracy in that mix? Forget it. They won the title that year. I don't know what year that was, but what was that, like 2000? 99, 2000? Like seven or eight. Seven, yeah. I want to say oh, they, seven. Yeah, they would have won it. That would have been early Miami Heat. Yeah, they would have beat, beat Miami. They would. Oh, man. That was right before. That was right before the Miami trade. That was the after Miami, the season before. The year the Miami won was 06. 06? Yeah. Okay, I'm a few years old. Okay, my bad. That's when Ray got his first ring. No, he was talking about the Miami with uh, LeBron. So, no, in that's between, 2011. Yeah, so yeah, it was, was like 2007 or eight when uh, when Miami, I mean, not Miami, Orlando was in the finals with uh, the yeah, Lakers. Yeah, that was when White, when the White was in his prom, when he was like doing his most. When he was actually good at yeah, not being good. Actually, right. Good at not being good. <laughs> like, legit, the White Howard was just, he's not a bad big man. He was just the right place at the right time with the right team. True. Mm-hmm. Like he, he, here's the thing about the White Howard, okay? As somebody who lives in Orlando, we have we have a saying out here, okay? Motherfuckers come here to get good, leave, and have the best careers of their life, right? That's that didn't happen for you. We're talking about superstars, right? Shaq killed it, left, got rings. You know what I'm saying? T Mac killed it, he left, he didn't get a ring, but he, he had some of the best games thing before his injury and shit. Like motherfuckers come here, leave, and blow the fuck up, right? The white so, thing so here saying, left got worse. Like it was just, nigga, what happened to you, bro? Stepping stone. It's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy, bro. So basically, you're saying y'all are good luck, Chuck. Bro, Pretty much. People, bro, they come like, here, they get good, they leave, they do shit. Like, look at who that? Uh, who right that love y'all? Zach Levine. Say what? Who was at the left and went to the board? Was it Zach Levine? Yeah, that's just uh or oh, Aaron Gordon, my bad. Aaron, Aaron Gordon. Gordon. Aaron Gordon. Oh man, what ever happened to him? Man, that's the name of Aaron. Aaron Gordon? You talking about Aaron? No, Eric. Eric Gordon. I don't know. Eric Gordon. Oh, yeah, Eric. I think I think he ain't in the same. That's just a name I ain't heard in a minute. Just, like, damn, whatever happened to him? Now, y'all remember Eric Snow? I do. He played on the <laughs> I do. <laughs> you know what? I'm kind of I'm kind of glad he got his ring with the Warriors. No, that was Eva Dollar. Never mind. But Never mind. I'm gonna say this though: with Derrick Rose thing, I think it would he was not gonna get a ring until LeBron went to the West. Oh, oh, you funny, Monty. You funny. You funny. I I think Derrick Rose. The 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 thing about Derrick Rose, he was great in the air where there's a lot of other great players. Thanks. Because mm-hmm. he was in the same conference as LeBron. Healthy LeBron, he was the same conference as that devil of um, um Indiana Pacers. Oh my god, he was in the air yeah, of um, D yeah. Wade. Man, come on, he youngest MVP ever, bro. Like, that's that's an accomplishment, bro. That's, the nigga was a beast, he's still low key, he's still a beast. He just not what he was, yeah. Okay, okay, well, it looks like we got our answer. <laughs> So I got another thing as far as sports go. I wanted to wait, 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 wait. I just want to make this interesting. I just okay. want to make this interesting. Of course, right. So there's ten people there, right? Wow. Who who are you? Wow, Imani. It better be a basketball. All the violence today. <laughs> he said it better be a basketball. He, he, he want a sectional in there. <laughs> she said with a sectional. Wow! All right, yo, I'm about to make it interesting though. You're right. All right, all right. Ten people there. Okay. Who you put in at number ten, bro? In the in the final spot. I did. Who's number ten? Who's the last person on the list? I'll make a better one for you. I'll make a better one for you. That's that's what I have (laughs) to. Jay, stop it! Stop being my (laughs) ace. That's who you picking? Huh? Five on five squad out of these ten. Who you picking? Oh, healthy. What's my five? No, no. If if all these if all these are if all of them were healthy, what's five my five? five squad? Who you picking? I want to go I, first. I okay, I could be off earlier. Oh, so wait, you going first? You I'm going first. All right. Point guard is <laughs> point guard. I got D Rose. Okay. Top row. 
<laughs> shooting guard. Who gonna be my two? Shooting guard, I'm gonna go with uh, Penny. Tracy at the three. Hmm. Y'all yeah, at the f- five, of course. I'm stuck between Chris Weber or Brandon Roy at the four. If I want to go, I'm gonna go small ball and go Chris on um, Brandon Roy at the four. Okay. Ooh, okay. All right. We shoot. We shoot. We shoot. I, yeah, I'm changing. Right. My shit different. My shit different. Oh, okay, so what what y'all do? Sorry, we doing. What y'all think about position now? Out of these five? ten, y'all playing a five on five. Out of these yeah. ten, who so would you pick? My five, right? I got, I got Penny at the one. This is no injuries, right? Right, yeah, no healthy. All right, I got Penny at the one. I'm putting Mac at the two. I'm okay. putting Grant at the three. Chris at the four and Ming at the five. Can we just agree that y'all means the five? Like, if you yeah. pick anybody else, you, you yeah. need to leave. Like, if you pick anybody else at the five, you need to leave. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now, listen, if, now, if you want to go small ball, that's different, but. Yeah. yeah. Small ball, you probably just have Chris at the five. Chris at the five and somebody else at the four, yeah. yeah. Chris is five and start him out at the four. Yeah, that, that'll work. Yeah. But I, I like Brandon Wood shooting. That's why I put him at the floor. So yeah, space the that. floor. Yeah, it depends on your style, whichever style you want to play too. That's Hold on, like, while we having this conversation, Volcan, if you play my team, we can actually play that game out. That's what I'm saying. If you play my team, I don't play my team though. <laughs> That's why I think. Let me explain for That's those y'all who don't know. play 2K. 2K has a game mode called My Team where you get player cards. And it's all played throughout the league and in the past, except for Reggie Miller. <laughs> Reggie Miller is never going to be in, in Reggie Miller is not in the game. He, he hasn't not been not. in the basketball game since, I think, live 2005. Chuck ain't right. in the game either, but he, he don't he, want to. He will not give. Chuck, he yeah, like they, won't give, they won't give the game their likeness. Like, Chuck, for, all right, I applaud, I applaud on Barker mm-hmm. for this. He said he's not gonna do it because y'all gotta pay him. And y'all, the other people they got, the older people who are still alive or who still got family, they're not paying them that much to use their likeness in the game. Uh, he's I like, whatever y'all wanna pay me, break that up and pay to everybody else because y'all can put me in the yeah. game. He hasn't been in the game for years either. Dang. Oh, and there's other I players. Heard. So him and Reggie Moon are the top I'm ones. I'm not in there. I feel they're that. The top oh, ones. I feel that. So, that but the game mode is you, you, you play, you win, you buy cards to make your team. And cards got different rankings depending on their ratings. Mm-hmm. And then they got different colors. So the highest now, I think, is Gal- Dark Matter is the highest. Going down from Dark Matter, you got Dark Matter, Galaxy Opal, um, Pink Diamond, Diamond. Uh, like it, those numbers, that means the right. player overall is like a 90 or, or above. Dark Matter being a 99. Okay. So you have two different tracing grades. A diamond chasing the grade and then turn around a black matter chasing the grade. Right. Two different cars. They have the same skill set, but their attributes that are different. Accuracy. That's a game mode that me and him can play, and he can play the computer with, but he don't want to do it. Because he don't play uh, online. I don't. We don't we don't get him to play online. Y'all what gonna try. Doing? I, I said that. that we could do the teenage new ninja turtle shit. He did say that. He did say that. I said that. I got it. I got the game. Hey, what's up, cousin? My cousin Eric is watching y'all. What, hey, up? what up? What up? What up? What up, cousin? Oh, that man can ball back in the day. I don't think he got it no more, but Eric can ball back in the day. <laughs> back in the day. Hey. I remember he hit my dad with a move so funny. Like, my dad is a baller. Like, my, my dad's side of the family loves sports. That's why it's so weird for my brother. <laughs> Everybody loves sports. And um, we used to be out in the yard playing. One day, everybody was home, and Eric dunked on the goal. It was I don't remember how he did it, but he he came down and did like reverse dunk on my dad. <laughs> and he was he was talking about that for years. I'm like, man, I wish I wish I could have did that. But, oh, your dad would have yeah. killed you. <laughs> man, look, my dad like he he always told me I would never beat him in basketball until he was almost fifty. But when I kept trying to play him when he was younger, he was too busy. So. When he almost 50, he don't want to play me. I don't want to play him no more. Like, it don't matter. <laughs> That's how it be. 
So I wanted to throw this out there while we're talking about sports. Sports and anime poses that people have been doing lately is bring it over so I can't see it with the live thing. I got you. Or bring it down. I did see the. There we go. There we go. So he's doing like the gear, the gear uh three giant arm. Yeah. (laughs) There. Hey, if you hadn't told me that, bro, you gonna tell I thought he was doing what? Turning into a titan. Oh wow, that would have done it too. Uh, then we got our guy here, Zion, where he was talking about I'm gonna do my my way of the ninja that he got from Naruto, which I thought Yo, that was cool as heck. That's cool, but can we just applaud all the like the past? I say the past five years of rookies that came into the NBA being weeps and blurs. Oh yeah, so, definitely. Especially Luca. Luca came in with some Dragon Ball Z sneakers on in a game. With Gohan oh, yeah. on the side of him. Cash oh, him as Gohan, he, man. I don't care. Cash him as Gohan. Like those money? Too know. bad Blake Griffin couldn't be cool bar on a live action New York show. I'm just going to bring it up right now. I would have loved to see that. I'm Blake would have been a perfect. Uh, he would have been a perfect. Perfect. The, uh, oh, this is the Olympics got... from Tokyo. Like they had <laughs> one team, Tammy and Ash Sailor Moon and the group. Oh, speaking of Sailor Moon, hold on. I'm going to see if I can pull. Copy and paste this picture in the group chat. Hold on. This dude pulled the gear two when he came in. <laughs> hey, if his legs were to move, bro, I would have left. This one right here, though, I this was the, the best one I saw. Man came in to Frankie. And actually mouthed super. <laughs> you know what? That that is his second best one. The first best is the UFC. Y'all know exactly who I'm talking about. Oh yeah, I forget his name. Oh, uh, I send you. Hold up in a second. Hey, hey, check the group chat because I have one. Yeah. He is just a child vendor. Yes, he did. What was his name again? I send you. The style bender. There we go. That's my guy. Like this man that caught people with pokeballs, the Thanos did. snap, and Real shit, bro. <laughs> he done Brock Lee somebody. He oh, damn. He really has. Like they was doing the um uh, the stand the standoff, and he he went like and the other the other guy was standing like this. So Here somebody um memed it and made it look like God versus uh Rock Lee. Style the bender, last stand style bender. Him. Yep. Nigerian. Okay. That's my nigga, bro. Oh, my, I did not see her demon, demon uh, slayer outfit, though. I didn't I I see that. that. Nah, but make it sound that Sailor Moon. Nicki Minaj, Woo. Demon Slayer. Yeah. You saw it? I ain't see it. I didn't see it, but um, make the style and I've seen. I, I posted she, it in the group chat, Panda, if you want to grab it. I don't phone. believe that Nikki really be watching. She, she was hot. He was, she was jacking somebody's style. Probably Megan. It's because, nah, I believe Megan be on that shit. But I don't Man, I went on one of her lives and she was talking about it. Like, yeah, she, she watches anime. She, she, yeah, she. Megan the style, I was in one of her lives. I believe yeah, Megan. Megan, 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 Megan is definitely a fan. Shit. I feel like the shit is is fucking prominent prominent in the industry right now, so she jumping on the wave. So I don't, I don't Nikki not out here watching enemies. So I don't she 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 uh what you call it? Not a colonizer. What is she um uh swagger jacket? I don't know. I don't know what word I'm thinking. Swagger jacket. That's what you gonna call her. Swagger jacket. <laughs> I heard swagger jacket. I said the flag so cattle cattle swagger jacket. Bro. I can't seem to find it. Not the swagger jacker. Anyway. I nah, but the uh, Meg the Style and Sailor Moon. Now, nah, yeah. It, it, it looked good, too. It's fucking, she, it, it should look she good. She probably, probably get people that would love to just model her as these anime yeah. characters. So. Anime thing for a new album. I did. I did I see didn't see that. that. I leave by she's she's done a lot of cosplays though across since she been out though. Nah, yeah, she has Todoroki and all of that. She's really she's popular. Popular. Yeah, yeah. Nah, yeah. That's what I found out about Megs. I was like, okay, really she killed that. She killed that Todoroki one. 
She did that. That one was really good. Yeah, legit. The total rookie yeah, was real good. Like Meg, Megan's with the shit for real. Uh, I might not get the witch. Music. Go ahead, go ahead, Ryan. Oh no, I was just gonna say I might not mess with music, but I will defend people. I will defend Megan Thee Stallion because she's there. Yeah, she's really with that shit. For real. There you go. Hold up. Thanks for that. Uh, that image. What was that? What was that there you go. Ah, I can hear her saying ah right now. Right. For real. For real. She's in Japan right now, so I think she's visiting Japan she right is, now. Yeah, she's she her uh Twitter was like she's in Japan right now or recently within the last couple of days. So but yeah. Um speaking of speaking of this type of stuff, uh Jay. Yo. I'll at me. Heroes and villains. I was just looking at that. Y'all wanna go? Go for it. Go ahead and hit the dragon. I got. I pulled up all the images for the ones you, you sent out. So, so night was that night one, right? Saturday. Hold on. I believe so. Yeah, night one, Saturday night. Hold on. Night. Oh, that's night three. Saturday night. The night. Heroes and villains ball. You asking if we trying to go? Yeah, to the heroes and villains ball. Where are we going? So there was three that we pulled up here. I saw. We got the here. Right, what's the ball. options? For, that's Saturday night at ten. What's the options for Saturday night? That's one of well, them. Well, the other one is wait. The so, he, he, go to go show him that, and I'm gonna tell y'all some more stuff to add on. And then the ice lounge. They're all the same night. No, this is. That's what I'm saying. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Friday. Think, yeah, that's Friday. That's the second. Both days. No, Friday into Saturday, and no, it's all three days. So we the can go that any other time. Right, I think I think. Okay, right. what's the trifecta? What day is the trifecta? The third. That's the third. Those, what time? Those two are the same day. What time? That's Saturday. Until two thirty. Okay. This should, why so, they with that being said, there are um, groups that have party in the hotels as well. So while we're networking, we can still find other parties to go to that don't necessarily have to be those. Yeah. I just gotta behave. That's all. So the trifecta get, is get Friday night, up, and the that ball is Saturday night. Thing. We gotta, we gotta find you a nice blurred ass for your kingdom. My, my, my kingdom is is actually looking like the queen coming. What? That's what it's looking like. Uh oh. She said, "Why well, you gotta behave?" Because I need to. But um, uh oh, before what I go, this was me. <laughs> uh huh. Cause what? Um, my drink running out. <laughs> <laughs> I think Certainly I need to go like nobody. Okay, before I oh go, God, I, I, gotta get, I gotta get some dead to my head. Right, I do gotta um, get that. What else we gotta talk about? Um. Pokemon news, probably. Uh, yeah, we got some Pokemon news. We got that, some that y'all need me for. Oh, Q got a crush. A lot I know people. that's what it sound like. Uh, some small some... video game news. We got some general movie news. Uh, a couple would you rather's the AITA stuff. We can say that. We can say that for so later. we can say some of that stuff. Oh. Uh, I do want to hit a couple. I want to hit two things at least for movies. Uh, one is Sonic Three is in production. Yes. So is he coming back or not? Uh, he went to the restroom. No, no, no. Um, Jim Carrey. They haven't said yet. They haven't said anything about that yet. But he's still alive. I'm assuming yeah. that he's still doing it. I'm assuming he's staying there until then. I haven't heard anything against. Him not being there, he just you know said that's, that's the last the movie. Yeah, but he, he, he wants to retire. He's kind of like Steve. Movie. Yeah, he's kind of like Steve Martin with um murder, murders in the building. Right, only murder. Right, because like he's at the he's at the end of his career. Last he, thing he, as well. Yep. Okay. I, I gotta watch that season two of that because that, that first season was fire. And then um, Iron season Man four, what? of course, they're working on that. 
Tony is coming back. Robert Downey is coming back as Iron Man. Oh, it's going, um, oh they're going to probably go to do that reboot storyline. Multiverse variant. Yeah. Damn it. Not the multiverse variant. Damn it. Yeah. Because yeah. they're, they're bringing Riri in and Tony's daughter for this one. For four. Oh. Um, so I oh, she hope from here. Yeah, Tony's nope. daughter is going to find the alternate universe version of him because she wants her dad back, and Riri's going to be in this one as well. Okay, and y'all be, okay. I'm gonna say this right now. If that's the, if that is the premise, and she's doing the same thing Wanda did. Hashtag Wanda did no wrong. Yeah. Say that right now. You say that shit every time, Rob. Do that. <laughs> Wanda was crazy and psycho. But she's gonna be doing the You're same thing Wanda did. Opinion. But she's doing the same thing Wanda did. Then she can get smacked too. That's right. <laughs> I don't okay. think she's as strong as Wanda though. Motherfuckers out here getting smacked. Sure. Wanda still did no wrong. Stop cre- you when you have a kid, when you actually had a kid, then you can do some crazy stuff like that. When you stop, when you didn't make him up in the first place from your head, and you actually birthed them, then it is okay to do crazy stuff. Don't say my imaginary kids. I'm gonna kill the world for. I got mad. That's a bit crazy. <laughs> I got a couple. All right. Of All right. <laughs> I still, I'll, I'll die on that hill. I'll die on that hill. If it was a different universe as Wanda, I'd be okay with it. But it was this universe as Wanda, the one that That's never right. had kids. The one that did not, she did not have no kids. She did not. Find Q or blur that. Thank you. <laughs> Hashtag find Q or blur that. <laughs> that was the point of this 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 con. That was the point. <laughs> we were gonna go and find Q or blur that. Okay. okay. <laughs> Put a ring on and make her want to marry me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Next thing you know, vocab gonna be on family or fiance. Before we know, we're gonna like, damn, how can you get on that show? Wow. Well, <laughs> oh, all right. So we'll do one more before I know you gotta go here in a second. Who gotta go? Jay. Oh, where you going? Date night. I'm finna go get my hair dyed. Oh, are you dying? What color? Uh, it's like a brownish color. Oh, yeah, it is. <laughs> Y'all remember this game? Super Punch Out. Okay. There's a they bring it back mode. in. Yeah, that's what he's bringing up. There's a multiplayer mode. Yeah, you know? No. No, I didn't know about it until recent. It's a, it was a secret mode. Yeah, I was just yeah. on TikTok. I saw it on TikTok yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, we had just now finding out. It's been out 20-something years, 28 years, almost 29 years. Yep. Might be longer than that. And uh, yeah, it's a certain Again, code that you can put in, and it will give you the option to get a different character and to play as said character. Um, so yeah, it's uh first of all, you 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 said it's been what? It's been about 20. Nigga, you look about 30. I am over 30. I'm talking about the, <laughs> talking about the game. Oh, yeah. the game. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, he knows. At least. You look by 30, nigga. You know what I'm saying? It is definitely. Yeah, but like, bang, man. That's what's the fact be. that we just found this out, though, is insane. Like, the fact that somebody just broke this, broke through this is crazy. So, we was on, like, me and Jumbo was on the game earlier talking about Grand Theft Auto and. How everybody, anybody who ever played a Grand Theft Auto game on PlayStation Two, still remembers one cheat code. Oh no! I remember a couple of them. At least, well, I said at least one. I know one. But want to make it from Grand Theft Auto San Andreas and from Grand Theft Auto Three. The want to make your character turn to somebody else. I remember that code by heart. I remember. And I was all. like, they need to bring back games with cheat codes. I miss those days. Oh, yeah. I remember the ammunition Game shark. <laughs> yep. Game shark. Yeah. Uh, uh, Cheatcode.com. Yep. Cheatcode.com. Yeah. No, my girl was telling Well, we were talking about this a couple weeks ago. She's like, I miss games with codes in it. And I was like, yeah, they don't make... They don't play. I think we were playing Resident Evil. Yeah, that's what we were doing. I think we were playing... I was my first time playing Resident Evil, and she was laughing at me because I couldn't do the controls right. <laughs> now, I will say this. I'm glad that we no longer have to worry about codes for saves in games. Y'all remember yeah. those? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I still remember certain ones from Mega Man 2 and 3. Well, 3 and yeah, 2 were so annoying, bro. 
Hey, and don't know when we're getting started on game on PlayStation 2 and you didn't have a memory card? Yes. You had to leave the game right. on? I left my game on. I had just beat NBA Street, the first one. Just beat the whole game. And I was like, okay, tomorrow I'm going to play with Stretch. Hey, okay. And Pokemon's purple. my mom turned the game off when I got home. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. He said, turn it off. She said, turn it off. We got to go. Yo, no, I left. Okay, we left and um, we went with my granddad to the store oh, and came oh, back. Oh. She turned my game off. Damn. No. We all had that happen. Oh, fuck Yo, everybody man. should try to catch this so Vocab okay, can't get it. Oh, Krogan. Yo, try to catch it, bro. It's purple. It's purple. It's one of the best cop walkers. <laughs> it's purple. It's fucking purple blocker. Uh, Rock Kroger, MVP now, I, I don't there's an open world Naruto game that someone made. Uh dude's name is a, a Yeet or something like Akit. But I'm gonna show you kind of what it looks like. Uh huh, infamous J, you don't own that ball. This is what the game looks like, yo. Oh purple. it's an open world Naruto game with over like 30, 40 jutsu already programmed into it. And That's it's good. just like you run around. You can you can make your own person. You can use people that are already in there. Uh, it's still a work in progress. That's the Amato, uh, Amato, Amaterasu. Amaterasu. Shadow Shuriken. All of that. Uh, and so the guy's name who made it, it's AK Yet. Or Y-E-T. If you look him up on YouTube, AK Yet. He's the actual creator of it. Uh, and so like I think it's on his Discord and his Patreon to actually get Get the game. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, got Pokemon. So this is so you can kind of see kind of what it looks like here. This is the Susano. Hold up. There you go. That's the Susano. What the hell? Oh my god. Why are game developers not hiring these independent people? That's crazy. I don't know. But the fact that dude's been able to do this is insane. Okay, so, but yeah, completely so, open world. I know um, they got Rock Lee in there uh, with a couple other people. Uh, like I said, it's about 30 different jutsu they got open. I think there's like at least... Ha-ha! I caught it, you bitch! <laughs> <laughs> I think there's like at least 15 characters. I know, yeah, Neji, I saw the, they did the, uh, pen- the pentagram, the 38 palm strike thing. You see a shock point palms. in there? Here, I'm going to pull it up here real quick. Well, you can see his chakra lines when he goes when he uses the Byakugan. You see him? That's lit. Oh, he did that. Yeah. yeah. So, if y'all get a chance, definitely check him out. Uh, it's A K Y E T A K Yet on fa- on YouTube. Uh, but yeah, he's got his Patreon and all that stuff linked to that. Um, but it's an open world. It's an open world game. So there's that. Uh, the other thing I wanted to bring up was oh Cobra Kai. Oh, Cobra Kai season five. The same dude who did Co- who did the who was the villain in three is coming back for the Cobra Kai season. Mm. So the actual the actual fighter, uh, what was his name? Sean. If I'm not mistaken. Do, do, Cobra Kai never dies. So he's actually coming Cobra back. Kai in the never show dies. As Cobra Kai, as the uh, the the guy in there. Um, what else? What else? Oh, have y'all heard of Squirrel with a Gun? Oh, well, I haven't seen memes about that. Squirrel with a Gun. Here you go. You I'm gonna get it. It is, it looks epic. It's just a squirrel, and you're running around with actual full size guns, robbing people in the park. Oh, Squirrel with a Gun. Squirrel with a Gun. Like you can take other like you take guns that got actual recoil, so you can jump up higher by shooting at the ground. I am so dumb. I'm down for run, running around the city robbing people as a squirrel. That's like that's like now, a tech you know just, put, people liked it. It put me in mind an episode of Rick and Morty with the squirrels. Right, right. right. <laughs> mm-hmm. So that uh that's something there. The squirrel and then, with I don't Uzi. know for those of you who watched who played Wii Sports, the legendary character is back. Matt. Oh yeah. He's back. Matt. 
So you can get him by hitting the button. It's like ZR, R, and A, or ZL in the left button. Uh, you can get him to come back in and sword fight you as the legendary character on Switch, uh, Nintendo Switch Sports. So they did replace the legendary Mac in there to go forward. So the only hey, other one be I wanted to talk change. about, if I can find it, it's a new skating game. Here it is, skate. I'm gonna let y'all watch this video because it was legit. Think Tony Hawk, but you were a glass person that reflects light and pain. Wait, what? You're skateboarding to save the world, but you shatter because you're made of glass. On the skateboard? Yeah, you're. Yeah, you're just you're skateboarding through the city. Who thought? So you can't fall at all. You can if you fall, you, it'll show you what happens when you fall. Who the hell decided Dude. it was a good idea to make a glass motherfucker on a skateboard? You're a I demon. don't know. But think a of demon it this way, wouldn't make sense. That so if you're think Do about you the character made of glass, the best right? Skateboarders in the world still fall down. But think about it. If they're made of glass, right? As long as the soundtrack is dope and the lighting is good on this, then it's okay to die. No, but just think about how aesthetically pleasing it would be to play. You're gonna die though. Mm. I mean, die. Game. You, you play the game to fall, let's be honest. That's what I'm saying. Like, so you glass, nigga. You you die. Look, look at that. Yeah, see? <laughs> yeah. Dead. Yeah. I personally am extremely excited for it. I think it's gonna be awesome. It's on what? It's called Space Story. Uh I think. I think it is PC. They haven't filled, finished all the way out yet. I'll play PC. PC game. Play Sai? You gonna play Play Sai? Play Sai. Play Sai. She said I'll pass. I'll play Pasai. I'll play Pasai. Yeah, I'm good. Pasai. Um, Pasai. That was all that I wanted to make sure we got through. Did you all have anything particular you wanted to talk about other than that? I, I wanted to do something, but I ain't got time. What okay. is oh, you think you ain't got time? We can do, uh, we can go through those next time. I know we want no, to do uh, yeah. yeah, that. Yeah. I was gonna do that in my last. So, two okay. hours and seven yeah. minutes. so we'll end it with this. We'll end it with this oh, then. I mean, y'all can keep going if y'all want to. I'm just gonna go. We got well, knock all the Pokemon news, and I guess we can wrap up. Yeah, y'all, y'all can keep going. Yeah. I'll just catch on. Here's my question: Who would you rather be? Who would you rather have? Sakuna Karama. or Karama? Yeah, it's Karama, bro. Karama. We are old, bro. We old, bro. We not young. Sakuna. It's got, what are you crazy? Uh, I'm this nigga wasn't Sakuna. even alive when we was watching Karama. Okay, but uh, think about it like this, though. If you take Karama out of me, I'll die. You take Sakuna out of me, we don't know what's going to happen yet. I'll go with that. Yeah. Nigga, he a devil. I'm gonna go. I mean, with technically, Kuma. they're both are of demonic origin. <laughs> Let's be <laughs> honest. Uh, I'm going. Karama. Not, so I'm going healing like, fact is a lot better than Karama's. I nigga, mean, Karama so, got sentimental value, nigga. So, do you think Naruto, at his strongest, when he had his, his most control, could beat Yuji if he got full control of Sakuna's abilities? Well, are wait, wait. That's not fair. End of the but manga are we gonna Lord? are we gonna go with just full control? Or are we gonna go full control with all fingers? With all fingers, we don't know yet. We don't know what he's capable of with all I fingers. Know what yet. I know what not. I'm you. saying, do 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 you? What do you think? As of right now, do you think? I mean, he's got what three fingers right now? He got three. Four? No, he might got four. He got only three. I think he had the first one. He I gave him a second one. one in the hospital. He got the third one from the first one, the first big thing that they fought. The first is great. And then one yeah. on they on uh, at the end, close to the end of the first season, they before up, they did the little training thing, he stole one. Mom. Like he was trying to give it to the girl. He he turned his hand yeah. to his mouth and ate it. Yeah. Okay, okay. So the four. So he's got four yeah. at that point. Yeah. Yeah. R.I.P. my homie. <laughs> I feel that. Nah, but yeah, I think I think Karama got it. Just I think he just gets better. 
I don't know about the other series, but I feel like Karam would probably gives you better buffs to stats. Maybe I'm just especially Boruto. Boruto. He, he, he took out. out. He became. He took over the boy's body and took the boy's heart out and said, "If I change back into him, he'll die." He did. Ooh, and he still kept living and beating everybody, <laughs> beating everybody ass. He kept playing. I'm gonna I'm I'm just say Sakuna this. I'm gonna be the odd man this time. I'm gonna say Sakuna. I'm not gonna lie. I'm, 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 I'm actually I'm, with you with I'm, Sakuna. I'm bringing Barry on mode into play here, and I think that might be the. I think Naruto wins with Barry on mode. He can't do it again. So, but it's just a one on one. No, fight. no. I said yeah, I gave him his. I know. I, I just wanted to be. I just. Yeah. Well, all I know is Boji swooping everybody ass. So <laughs> he said Boji, but can he beat Boji? <laughs> Can he be Boji though? Y'all think Boji beat everybody? Oh, can man. he be Boji though? Can he be Yusuke though? Not can he be Yusuke. <laughs> I'm just being, I'm, nah, I'm just trolling. Nah, I'm trolling. Um. All right. So, Rod, did you have anything specific you wanted to bring up about Pokemon before we? I know you said something about Ash's retirement. Y'all go ahead. Yeah, this, no, this is just Maybe a theory. Go I'm gonna go on. This is just my right, theory. Jake. Y'all take Catch it easy. Right? Later, bro. All right, take always. It. Ooh, just a theory crazy. of mine with Ash retiring from the anime. Just a theory of mine. Because mm-hmm. they've been promoing so much of Ash's stuff, like his Pokemon and journeys. He's in Pokemon Master. They're giving away his Pokemon and Sword and Shield. They've never done this type of promotion for Ash in the anime. Never, never, ever. They've mm-hmm. never distributed his Pokemon. They've never distributed. Distributed stuff this hard for Ash, so I'm thinking Journeys is his last journey, which would make thematic sense going into the next gen of Pokemon games. It makes right. total sense to just retire Ash. It makes sense. Have him go out on top. Have him do what he should have done in the Sinnoh anime. Be the champion. Be the up. Be the top dog. It's time. It's time. Right. Ash. Ash is retiring. I, if he doesn't, I just I probably wouldn't watch the anime anymore because I'm like that's the second time. Actually, third time you screwed him over time, going yeah, out. Third time they, they robbed him. He got Robin Callos. He won a Lola. And he, if he beats Leon, that's it. I mean, if he beats Cynthia, I mean, shit, come on. Like, who else he got to fight? Else, what else is there left for Ash to do? Yeah. Like, who else he got to fight to get some respect? <laughs> I mean, I get beat. If he beats Leon, Leon is supposed to be the top dog. If he beats the top dog, we know our show on anime. We, we need the top dog. That's it. Yeah. That's it. The hero's journey is over. You can get another character with a Pikachu. That's not that's not too hard to do. No, you don't the thing is you don't need to keep Pikachu either. I think that's what they're holding. They're holding on to Pikachu. And they feel that they have to keep Ash because they keep Pikachu. And I'm like, y'all have it's not like you only have 150 Pokemon anymore. You can make someone else the face of Pokemon. You really you can. can. Eevee. You can do Eevee. You can Eevee try- can e- it's an easy trade. Easy trade. Yeah, you know what I, I mean? Mm-hmm. Come up with a different trainer that's an EV trainer. Honestly, I think with the Gen 9 anime, it should be Ash's kid with a Pichu. Honestly. Like, have I, Ash's I, kid I, be I would, in the... I would pull it completely away from Pikachu. That's what that's what I would do. I think Ash should just retire. And it's his time. Yeah. It's his time. I mean... Well, he's 40 years old. He got to retire, bro. Like I said, right, it, he still looks like he's 10. You should be 14 at the worst. I mean, I'm keeping a buck. You should be at least 14. Let's keep it a buck 50. Like, come on, bro. The nigga, look. 40 in anime years is like 139, nigga. <laughs> I mean, heck, you mean Goku and Vegeta are one in their 40s and 50s is super. I mean, come on now. Like, right. The time, time for the torch to be passed. the same the entire time. Like, it's time for the torch to be passed. I mean, we were talking about yeah. One Piece earlier. How long One Piece? One Piece been out better than the Pokemon anime. If you think about it. But you that you but at least you've seen the progression in him. True. That's the only you thing see, that I'll say different with regarding those two. Like there was physical growth with, with Luffy from that from then until now. Ash has regressed in age. <laughs> Legit though. Like every time they try to redraw him, they make him look younger. And that's a problem. He should, like I said, he should be at least 14 now. 14. Right. Right. So, I was like, they made Brock look older. Why couldn't they have made Ash look older? Because Brock gets no respect, bro. Wow, Imani, that's petty. Not for me. I'm just talking about people. 
No, no, no. She said the picture on my screen of Ash and Pikachu. That was you and you and Jay. Oh, that's what she. Oh, that's what okay. she's talking oh, about. Oh, you oh, funny though. Oh, oh you wow. funny though. Oh, okay. Sneaky, sneaky. Oh, okay. Funny, funny. funny. She got joke jokes. Oh, you got joke jokes. Okay. Yeah, but I just, I, I just feel like Ash and Pikachu. Their time is coming, yeah. going. I can say it like that. They've yeah. been around for a long time. They're iconic. I get it. Don't get me yeah. wrong. But it's just time. As long as they put in po- um, Ash and Pokemon Masters, only characters in Pokemon Masters are characters that are no longer in active games. Why put him in a game like that? Right. Right. If you're not going to think about retiring him. My, so here's my question. This is a question for you could probably answer for me because I don't know, right? I've I noticed once we got the Gen Four, they stopped using Gen One Pokemon completely. When they went to Gen Five, it seemed like Gen Two got started getting phased out. Okay, it's like they're only using three Gen worth, even though they have this full backlog. Here's the thing. It's low key. Gen 5 was supposed to be a small reboot, and they kind of took it out of it. That makes sense. It was supposed to be a soft reboot, they took it out, which would have made a heck of a ass when it's center. would have made sense. You would have rebooted. Right. And started all but over. But now they've got like three other games. Like, so you have Arceus, which is a whole new main character set, right? Because mm-hmm. uh, of the time period. So that's a whole new main character set right there. Right. You've got. Uh, Gen 9 coming out, which is again a whole new character set. I would say Sword and Shield still still slightly resembled Ash's story. Right. And they didn't even do they didn't even do anything from Sword and Shield. They didn't even they don't have maybe like Leon, maybe two or three gym leaders from Gen Leon 8 and there, Right. Right. Exactly. So, so like, like I think now would be the time if they're gonna do that reset, like you're saying. That reboot for Gen 9 would make sense if they get him out, retire him, and start over. Right. It just makes total yeah. sense. Yeah. The only reason I would even say use an EV is just because of the fact that it still holds a tie to the first gen fan base. Right. If that makes sense. And plus there's so many different paths and options to evolve. Right. I know some people were disappointed in the anime when the character um, Chloe and Joni's when she didn't know what her Evie wanted to be in. Evie didn't know what it wanted to evolve to. People right. were mad because they thought Evie would evolve to a Gen 9 evolution. Yeah. That's still not going to say we don't get a Gen 9 Evie evolution. Maybe it could be DLC. Which I can see sure. them doing. But it would also, I mean, it would also give them a storyline point if they wanted to do a new anime. Exactly. The way this game is set up, yet. You got two schools, two rival schools. One focuses right. on the past, one focuses on the future. That's almost like perfect. And how many school? How many, I mean, how y'all guys will probably know better than me. How many school setting animes are there? Like a million. Right. Yeah. So I mean, why not do a school setting? Or even I know some people say I, I've heard this in different group chats I've been in. Some people say maybe Ash retires and Gen 9, he's a teacher at the school. Maybe that's another way to I was gonna say kinda... a Pokemon University would be legit. Like they're walking around school with their Pokemon, like you learning how to train Pokemon from a master, from a former master of uh, Pokemon master. You could keep Ash in as like the headmaster of the school, right? True. And have the kids that are in there, like the teachers be gym leaders. Like the gym leader, like Brock would be the gym teacher. Right, uh, right. Misty will be the swim teacher, the swim coach for the team. So you could keep all these other people in. Professor Oak would be like that old science teacher or something like that. You know what I right. mean? Right. And so they're right. going through learning how the Pokemon learning evolutions, learning. You know what I mean? Just like, uh, yo, this could get deep. That's a fan fiction for you right there, bro. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing with the Pokemon franchise right now. Even mine says it's almost a 905 Pokemon. That's a lie. Yeah. Think about what they're going to add to it. They're going to hit 1,000 this generation. You're going to hit yeah, 1,000. Easy. easy. Did they hit 1,000? I know they're adding a they lot of... They're like nine something right now. I they hit 9,000. <laughs> 9, it's, over 9, it's over 9,000. It's over 9,000. Oh, I caught a Pokemon. Yeah. Well, I didn't say what shells it was, but... Um, but, but I mean, and then got the Pokemon World Championships going on this weekend. Actually, they actually revealed a new Pokemon. I think I sent y'all the video trail in the group chat. 
So they got a, yeah. so they got another oh, dragon one. normal Pokemon. I didn't get that, but I did show the get the world Pokemon yeah. Unite champs. Yeah, yeah, they won. They 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 ran they ran they went undefeated, undefeated too. Well, the LA Lakers from 2000. Uh, what's that year they went undefeated? Oh, what? No, they didn't. 76 has beat them that, that year. <laughs> what did they do? run? I forgot. I think I think I saw they're going to be giving out the Pokemon they use, I think, in Unite. I'm, I heard that somewhere. But I think it was like Cinderace, Blissey, Aegis Slash, Dragonite, and something else. They're going to be giving out the Pokemon and the Hollow Wares they use too. I, I heard that somewhere. Okay. I'm gonna see. I'm just trying to see if I can pull it up. Because I was watching a little bit of this. It was not that bad. I think on Friday I was watching a little bit of it. But that's impressive to go undefeated no matter what the sport is. If you can do undefeated, that's impressive regardless of they want what the grand. competition is. I see is. that too. They want 100 grand. Now you see why I wanted to get a Pokemon Unite team? I knew why you wanted to get a Pokemon Unite team. That wasn't the question. <laughs> what was the question? That was not the question. Call me shaming, man. I want the money. <laughs> Must be the money. That's the only reason know. to go into it. Shoot. No, who got money? And the love. And the love. But still. Money's good. Money's all. The money helps, right? <laughs> but the money helps, as they always say. Didn't think they were giving yeah, out 100 Gs, I'm, but that's I'm a whole different story now. Wait, somebody giving me 100 G's? Yeah, um, I'm okay. These, these guys just want 100 G's playing Pokemon Unite for the World Championship. Oh, shit, okay. Shit. Yeah, they got 100 grand for winning. Even split by the way, that's 20 G's. That's not bad. That's not bad right. at all. Look, 20 G's? Shoot, look, we had to fly oh, there. Let me, let me, let me, I should, so right? You're texting your crush. Let me, let me send her a message. Oh, okay. <laughs> all right. But not like that's 20, 20 G's a piece that covers your flights there. It covers all the food you, you had while you were there. You're probably still coming out with like 12 G's after after what you spent to get there and, and the chill for the week. Uh, don't forget taxes. Probably gonna end up with 10. Okay, so 10. Tax man gotta 10. get theirs. Right, nine or ten. But still, shoot. I'm bad. Mm. Yeah, yeah. That's legit though. Shout out to them, by the way. I have no clue how to spell their name or pronounce it because it's like a bunch of letters put together. You know, I don't know if he was saying black hand or half black band. That's what it looked like. <laughs> but good run though. Undefe- undefeated regardless, no matter what the combat you, yeah, you black hand you run the like. you run the guard like you, you you go undefeated. That that that's good. Well, so I'm but, looking at the I'm looking at the portal and uh here I'll pull it up here. I'm looking at what they their bracket here. And so it looks like they had a no show. I'm make it a little bigger. So they had a no show first round. Oh, okay. Uh, two zero. They went the second round. Third round two and zero. Fourth round three and zero. So they got they they had to buy the first round. So we don't, you know what I'm saying, there, there's that. But other than that, they murdered everybody else. Yep, I mean, you run the problem, you go, yeah, you go undefeated, you're undefeated, that regardless. Yeah. I mean, they earned the buys. Oh, no show, was no show a team? I think that might have been a team. I don't know. Well, I show, the only reason is because I show them twice on here. Probably was no show. Maybe the team's forfeited, probably. Or maybe a forfeit, yeah. It'll be double but. forfeit. They got lucky, but, eh. You play right. who's in front of you, as they say, right? Yeah, play you play who's in front you, of you. right. You handle that. Whoever the enemy is in front, you go from there. Yeah, well, you so. do. Yeah, but then Unite also, let's, let's talk about Unite. Got the new map coming out, I think. I want to say coming up, we got with Quasar coming in as a map, as a, as a map boss. I think I posted that in the group chat, I think. I didn't crazy. get that one. I don't think that's my fault. Yeah, I don't think I grabbed now, that one. No worries. I can. Ex- yeah. So yeah, po- people have been wanting a new map for Pokemon Unite, mm-hmm. and they got one coming out with Rayquaza as the boss Pokemon, and you're gonna have. It's not like the the that like the current map they got has a different thing. Like you, you beat Rayquaza, he's gonna blow wind around. So you sometimes your team will be faster, sometimes your team will be slower, uh, depending on who can get with Quasar. A certain other Pokemon are going to give you stat boots 
of Bulbs. Some of the Pokemons. The Reggies are on the map too. So you got Reggie Gigas, Reggie Alecky. Um, okay. Oh yeah, all the Reggies. I think. Also, oh, that was the map that you're talking about with the with the, they were adding the Reggies too. Yeah, that map. Okay. So this is new. I'm not sure when it comes out. I think it comes out in September. And that's I don't know. That's gonna be cool. It'll be different. Just switch some things up a little bit. I know some people are getting tired of the Zapdos map. But some people don't want to play quick mode, which I understand too. And you don't want to play standard, you just want some diversity. I get it. Right. But there's only so much, you know, you could realize they need to make some of them quick, quick match maps bigger, especially the um the one with the um ice. Something the Shavar City, I think it's called. That should be a full map, my honest opinion. But I like ice, so I like ice levels, so that's just me. Mm. But and they got the new Pokemon coming out. We got Mew, Scizor, and Dodrio. I know we mentioned that, I think, last year. Yeah, we mentioned show. Scizor and Dodrio next round here. Yeah. Mew's supposed to be distributed through an event, so everybody gets Mew. So Okay. So that means you can save your coins for Scyther. I would go Sciz- Sciz- Scyther. I'm not going to lie. I, I, I would go for Scyther. Me too. I, me too. Like I don't even want Tyranitar. I'm like, I'm kind of glad I don't have the coins to buy Tyranitar because I would have bought them. I'd have been mad. And then Scyther, yeah, and then Scyther and Scizor, depending on the moves that that decides the Pokemon. So you got to be careful if you want to stay Scyther. You got to make sure you get the right moves. I just think that they should be able to move faster on on Unite. Like the agility yeah. Pokemon, the spacer should be faster. Like I think there should be a bigger difference between their in their speed. Like Mamoswine should not be the same speed as Cinderace. That's but what I think they're, they're using the emblems for. That's what I think they're trying to use that for. But I get what they're trying. Yeah, because I mean, speed, speedy characters should be fast. That but makes isn't slow- like. A, but that's what I'm thinking. Like they shouldn't have to use an emblem. I shouldn't have to use an emblem for a Pokemon that's considered a speedster. That's all I'm saying. Right. Like the speed set should be the highest stat, no matter what. It right. Is. That yeah. should be their stat. Period. Right. Exactly. The attackers, their attack, they should be able to body three people. Three three people that are not defenders. Like defender, you're a tank. You're supposed to just take the hits. This is one thing right. I hate playing about Unite when I'm playing Mammals on the time. Is we're fighting for Zapdos. Sometimes what I'll try to do if I have a lot of health is I'll try, and I don't think people pick up on this. Sometimes I'll try to get in front of the attack so my teammates can get Zapdos and they don't right. pay attention. I'd be like, oh my god, I just sat here, took all these hits for nothing. So they yeah, so they could get Zapdos and then I get bodied and then that's it. I mean, look, I'd be so mad when I'm like, you literally see me standing there trying to block the attacks. Once you I think the go- for you though, okay. do you feel that the defenders have a strong enough super unite attack? No, I don't think so. Mammal has a decent one if you know how to use it. Mm-hmm. Same thing with Snorlax too. I haven't played enough with Crustal. Crustal to say anything, and Blissey is not bad either. But Blissey, you gotta know your teammates gotta know when you're gonna use your special your unite move because it gives you it gives you instant health because you can heal yourself. You. See, so because this is my this was always my thought with it. A tank should they should not have very strong attacks. They should have impact attacks, right? So even if it's not strong, it it it's enough to push somebody back. You know what I mean? Like right. when you playing a when you playing a first person shooter. Shotgun is if it ain't got no impact, what's the point of having a shotgun? Exactly. Right? That if, makes not, sense. if it ain't got no stopping power. So it's the same thing with the defenders in Pokemon Unite. Like their attacks don't have to be strong per se, but they should be either wide area or heavy impact. You know what I mean? To stop somebody. That's why Blaster is about the closest you're gonna get to that, honestly. Mm-hmm. Blaster is about the closest you're gonna get to that. But then a lot of and then Blaster just don't have the the punch that he needs. Right, he ain't got the body power though. Right. Like so Blast is like, exactly what you're talking about. And or if nothing else, if nothing else, their special should be like a rage moment where they it there that should be the one attack that is stupid strong. Ooh. Like that attack should should equal the amount of defense they have. You know what I mean? Like I've taken all this damage, kind of like fat gum. I took all this damage. Ooh. Now I'm about to deal all this back out. That should have been Snorlax's special, something like that. That's really should have. That would fit. This did. Um, I don't know if you guys. Oh yeah, this would have been perfect for Snorlax. Snorlax had a move, and then seven generated. They had these things called Z moves. 
Yeah. Snow White had a special one called Polarizing Pancake. Pretty much. Oh, nice. Man, let me see if I can find a video of it really quickly here. Polarizing Pancake? Yeah. Let me see if I'll pull it up here. It's a a Z move. It's Snow White Z move. Polarizing Pancake. And he just looks menacing when he does it, too. He's like, oh. You don't want to mess with... Yeah, but that should have been his. That should have been his unite move. Here we go. Four legs. Not the pulverizing pancake. I feel sorry for the magic card. Dang. <laughs> that should have been a unique move. <laughs> Good but night. you see how much damage that should that's like hit getting hit by an A bomb, bro. Like you should have been done. Like, but that's the type of special I'm thinking that defenders should have in Unite, but they don't. Yeah. You like know what mammals I mean? should be like that. Mammals should have something similar to that too. Like mammals stomps are cool, but right, they should have something that's an AOE that knocks everybody back like a good few feet from the from the goal. You know what I mean? A few inches from the goal. Yeah, black yeah, because blast was kind of is like that, but then you can just come right back. It pushes you a little bit, but right. it should push you a little further. But I don't know. It's just just they're testing things, and it's just hard to tell. Yeah. Just hard to tell, but that should have been his. That should have been its um unite move. No, I definitely, yeah, I definitely agree. Agree with you on that. Oh, and there's a cycle Pokemon right there. Um, Panda, click that video. That's the yeah, new I Pokemon saw, they like, revealed they today. They made a new one, I guess. Yeah, that's the new Pokemon they revealed today. Cyclizer, Dragon Normal. Cyclizer. And you can ride him. And he has a new yeah. move too. So he has this move where, like, you know the move baton pass and subs. He has a right. move that's a combination of, of substitute and baton pass. Huh. That's the crystal version. Yeah. yeah. Terrorizing. Yeah, terrorizing is going. People who are creative are going to are going to have some fun with that. Like this this example with Tyranitar turns a ghost. So it can't get hit by fighting attacks. And then that new move, Terra Blast. So all Pokemon can learn that. It's kind of like the new hidden power. Right, right. That's crazy. Yeah, competitive Pokemon is going to be very interesting in 90 Gen. It's going to be very interesting. And like I said, they had the Pokemon World Championship this weekend in um, London. So they've been in London. The next World Championship, though, for Gen 9 is going to be in Japan. It's going to be in Japan. So basically what we're saying is we need to get our teams ready for so we can go to Japan and deal, handle this stuff and uh, make some money. 100 Gs, 100 Gs, four ways is still not bad. 100 Gs, four ways is not bad at all. <laughs> Five ways. I will gladly take 25K, bro. <laughs> right? <laughs> so so this is why, okay, we're telling you we need to get you, get you a Switch. So we can get you up here, and get this, get this going. Yeah, I, I gotta get one. He said, "Well, heck, you said twenty five k's. I yeah, now I gotta get one." I already said I would. No, no, I'm messing with you. We just messing with you. That's an interesting argument, though. Like, you for it. Yeah. Imani says she'll be team coordinator. Bet. <laughs> that works. That works. That's why I want to get these competitive teams together because each one is one of. Esports is where the money's gonna be in a couple more years. Give it like another 10, 10 years. Esports is gonna be oh, where yeah. it's at. Some of these oh, yeah, high definitely. schools are already starting esports teams. Even if I'm not mistaken, the NBA already got esports teams going on right now. So yeah, yeah. Uh yeah. NFL does, NBA does. Um yeah. So I could probably hockey would be an interesting one, esports wise. That'd be an interesting one to watch. I think soccer would be better. Oh, yeah, because that yeah. fan base is already there. Oh man, FIFA FIFA would probably be worse than Madden. I mean, oh, it's far worse, far worse than Madden. 
Yeah, <laughs> FIFA is far worse than Madden, bro. I've never played FIFA, but I've heard stories. I remember, I remember hearing the stories Swell Owens used to have about FIFA. So, yeah, see, and that's the thing. Other, other, at, it's funny. I've always, I've like watched around and like watching people streams and stuff. It's funny how athletes from other sports will go play the another sport game and be really into that game, but it's because it's it's not their sport that they play on the regular basis. You know right. what I mean? Yeah. So I'm not- like basketball players will go play FIFA. You know what I mean? And vice versa. Hell yeah. Makes sense. Makes Thank total you. sense to me. So I'm trying to think any other Pokemon. We got the Ash, we got the Pokemon World. Yeah. Next. And you know what's sad? Like Pokemon Shield and Shield. This is the only time that that game was used for the world championships. So sad because of the pandemic and everything. That was the only time Sword and Shield was used for the world championships. So it'll be the the only game where it's the generation it was out was only used once for the whole world championships. Mm-hmm. Just fun fact, fun fact about that one. Kind of shame though, because Galar was more built for competitive Pokemon, but it can never be done right because of the pandemic. All right, so I got a question for y'all. I want. Do y'all think this would be a good thing to have? I want a dark Pokemon movie. How dark is Orkin? Like, here, I'm sure y'all didn't see this, but I'm going to pull it up for you. Like this dark. Okay. Let me look. Let me look. Hold on, hold on. Oh, Monty got a good point there, too. Like, a lot I of never happens- get tired of this shit right here, bro. The slaps. What? That video that was just there, the this slaps. This one? Oh, I didn't see oh, this no. one. This video. I'm talking about dark like this. They could probably do that with some of the Detective Pikachu graphics. They could probably do this. Oh, they could easily do this, bro. Like the way they how they got uh Charizard right here. Yeah, I fuck with it. He out here, boy. That ref was like, maybe I made the wrong career choice. Oh yeah, he completely made the wrong career choice with that one. Mewtwo and Kualava. Like this one, the dude, his family got kidnapped. And Mewtwo's the dealer that's like helping him find it. That's Pikachu. Oh, that's so now he's going to find his family basically after he gave up Pokemon training. And Mewtwo's working with Cream with uh, Mew's working with Team Rocket as always. But he's their like middleman dealer. Oh, that's an interesting take. Okay. So like Machamp, he sent after him. Giovanni sent after him. That's why they never went dark, especially with Giovanni and them being the Pokemon Mafia. They never went as dark Lava. as they could have went dark. Oh yeah, easily, easily. Well, I mean, they try to keep it light. And Mew, look at Mew, Mew meow, yeah. just in here, just murdering boys. Probably a li- okay, this is probably a little too realistic for my say. I think the Tekken Pikachu is about the best balance you can get, but I see what they're going with this. Well, I mean, this is CG, right? But I was thinking more if you real people, you know what I mean? If you that'll putting real people in there would would balance that out. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Instead of like, yeah. I still think they should look more like the Pokemon, like not animalistic take on them. You know what I'm saying? He's kind of doing the take. Yeah, he's kind of doing the same thing. Um, Paramount was it with the Sonic movie, almost the same thing. You're making it too realistic. Too I see real. We don't want them as crazy as like maybe the Super Mario Brothers movie. I mean, Goomba and Yoshi didn't even look like themselves. You wouldn't even right. know they were Goomba and Yoshi. So just- you would not have at all. But yeah, like I'm, st- I still think they should keep it like they did with Detective Pikachu, right? So they they gotta look like the Pokemon. But I'm just saying, like the dark tone that they that you got there, you could have easily got it at the cage match. And yep. uh, Inspector Pikachu, you went Roundhouse. There. If the fight would have went a whole different direction, with just with that same ki- with them same graphics, it would have been you know what I mean a darker, a whole darker moment versus uh versus that you know what I'm saying versus yeah, what that's actually it. happened. Yeah, Pokemon. If Pikachu, if, go ahead. No, I was gonna say Pokemon is one of those franchises now. They have an adult audience, but sometimes they don't want to 
cater to the adult audience that they have. That we made them, but we're not gonna go there. <laughs> it, no, it's our money that, that got them where they are now. <laughs> our kids are the ones watching them. Like, come on now, y'all can give us something. Break us off something. Like, give us something like I mean, like the ninja just did what the last Ronin comic just recently. Like, give us something like right. that. Give Very true, like... Monty. A lot of them did play other sports before, that. so that's true. But yeah, the last the Ronin, the Ronin. Yeah, last run for Ninja Turtles. That was a yeah. great comic. That was a great, oh, great yeah. idea. It was. Yeah. Yeah. And dark yeah. as heck too. Love it. Mm -hmm. and, and people forget how dark the turtles used to be. That one, I'm like, oh yeah, oh they, yeah, they, the original. Yeah. yeah. Even the some original of the comics. Yeah, the original. Yeah, that was like an old idea they had. They just never used it. Like, oh. Mm -hmm. And one of the co-creators called the idea. Was like, oh, let me bring this to somebody. See what we can do with it. And they came up with that. You know, I yeah. still didn't think Michelangelo would be the last. Too late. The story's already finished at this point. No spoilers, but um, I thought it was gonna be Donatello being the last Ronin. I lost the bet on that one. So I would have thought that too. But no, nope. I mean, it makes sense. That Mikey. Mikey, yeah, because everybody he was the baby. Everybody else was gonna protect him. Yeah, everybody was gonna protect him. That's yeah. Know. But with last Ronin, at least they're coming out with like more comics about the years. <laughs> In between mm -hmm. that happened, like how what happened after a certain I think one of the comic books like Michelangelo, what he did in his time in Japan after he found out that Donatello and Master Splint, that was messed up too. That was the most messed up out of all of them. Oh yeah. Yeah. I mean Raphael was gonna die that way no matter what happened. I don't care what Ra yeah, was Raph was gonna go out in a blaze of glory. That was gonna happen. Regardless, <laughs> regardless of the timeline, he was gonna go yeah. out like a G. Yeah, he was gonna go out. He was he was going out fighting Regal. Even even he was gonna go find them, if nothing else. So we know Raphael's the one who always wants to smoke. He always wants to smoke. Yeah, yeah. Raph always wants to smoke. So it's That's funny a... though. It's always it's always funny watching the rest of them get to the point where Raph is, and watching Raph have to calm down. I always thought that that was funny when in any of the stories, like Leo is Leo was just as hot headed as Raph. He just kept his cool because he felt he had to. You know what and I mean? Time, yeah, and half the time because Splinter told him to keep his school cool. Like right. Half the time he was told to. So I really like I honestly wonder if Leo was the worst of was a worse hothead than Raph was. They should do a series like that. Like maybe Leonardo. You know, they kind of wanted to do that with Rise of TMNT, but they they never they kind of made it a joke at the end that oh Leonardo's weird at the end at the last clip. Of the, the last scene episode was like, oh, right. Him and Blue is the leader now. <laughs> that was the last clip. I was like, what? <laughs> yeah. I was dying laughing. I'm like, oh, you can't play that off as a joke. You can't play that as a joke. But hopefully, whatever like, next. That would have been funny. You know what? They could have probably explored that a little bit more. The old seven Ninja Turtles that came out, they could have probably explored that. If they did a sequel to that. They could have. Honestly, yeah. I think that would be good as a movie. Like, I think they tried to do that. Which movie was that where he went off on his own? Was it the second one? No, it was the one with Rock City and Beat with Crane, where he kind of went off on his own for a little bit. Was that in the Michael Bay ones? I can't remember. So I'm the last Ronin. Yes, Jay, you were the last Ronin. <laughs> Obviously. I can't remember. I. I, it wasn't one of the Michael Bay movies. I, for some reason, and y'all got to help me with this. Maybe the first, I remember the a first movie, movie where Leonardo went off on his own. He was in the jungle and they had to go find him. I think it might want to be one of the cartoon movies, though. It might have been That's one of the cartoon hundred. movies. Hold on. No, they kind of did it in the 2012 series, I think. Oh, I'm trying to remember off the top of my head. No, it might no, because no, in the first movie, remember they threw Raphael through the um through the thing because he went after the foot. <laughs> mm -mm. Body, that's hilarious. That, that's messed up. Yeah, he's got to meet friends like that. He has to for the culture, <laughs> right? For the culture, literally. Yeah, I can't remember. All I know is, as Leo went off, he felt he was he was a horrible leader. He went off to like South America. That's the old seven movie. Out. That's the old seven. That was the old seven movie. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Splinter told him to, yeah to go away for for a little while, and then yeah. the team fell apart. Yep. Yes, two thousand seven. Okay. I was like, I knew I remember something where he went off. Um, but I think like they tried to they tried to do it there, but then they brought him back. Like, you know what I mean? They made him like find his center and come back. 
Yeah, I think they April Chung will come back. And they should have let Rose just switch. Since Raph wanted to be the lead, let him lead. And let Leo be the hothead. Like they That'd always tried good. to make they always tried to make Leo switch. come back to his senses. They never made Raph do that though. And I think that Splinter, if Splinter had made Raph come, if Splinter had made Raph see the damage he was doing to everybody, then they wouldn't have had that dynamic as often as they did. That'd be good. I, maybe the next animated series they do for the ninjas, that would be a good idea. Maybe have Leo and Raph still. Maybe they don't have a definitive leader yet, but it's between those two. Right. Maybe sometimes Raph leads, and maybe sometimes Leo leads, and maybe maybe by the end of the series, I could see that, right? Yeah. Better yeah. A, a series than a movie. I could see that. Yeah, because if nobody knows what Nicolo is going to do next with the ninjas, or me at the Ron, last Ronin being hot right now maybe they go a little bit more darker and less comedic as well yeah right a little more darker right it get like oh three turtle dark but i mean 2012 was kind of dark too i mean only cartoon that really kill off splinter which i thought i'd never see that happen in a, in a cartoon turtles yeah. like i was i saw that I was like oh and maybe go back and we watch the 2012 series i was like oh okay yeah i killed splinter i didn't have to do that but okay but yeah, O three is a go to series for you. True, that is a good series. O three, O three and twenty twelve are like one A one B. They're both good in their own rights. Two thousand three was a good one. Yeah, but it'd be interesting if they, especially if you know what the recent comics have done. I thought they should follow the IDW comics for the next series too, because. In that in that universe, the turtles and Splinter are reincarnated of a group of ninjas, father and son, that were all, that were all killed by the Shredder in a past life. So the Shredder, the Ninja Turtles, and Splinter are all reincarnated to continue the fight. Interesting. Yeah, that's something they should follow. I mean, that's a good idea. I don't know if they'll ever do the IDW comics, but I would they take some not. ideas from there and make a series out of that. Throw that Leo but and Raph. Again, how many times have we seen people go have stuff like that they've had backlog like you know like this like uh last Ronin, you know what i mean it's been backlogged for forever and we'll see if they you know what i mean we don't know if they'll, they'll ever bring it out you know what i mean sure they could have something like this in the backlogs and we we may never <laughs> we may never find be some ideas you never know especially certain franchises i mean we were just talking about the dark pokemon too I mean, even Dragon Ball. I mean, heck, I wouldn't be surprised that Super Story, Super Hero is probably something in the back burner somewhere. Maybe Toriyama had the idea somewhere, just didn't think about it. Right. I mean, or yep. got outvoted. <laughs> sure. You know, most of the cartoon series have a few episodes where one of them has a journey alone and resets themselves. Yeah, but that's that's my thing. Like, why are we recentering? Like, just let them go ape shit. I need to reset it. Like, just I let mean, them go. Shoot. Let them be who they really are. Like, so, I don't know, Imani, if you saw the show you that we did where uh, it was stated that they gave, Splinter gave the Turtles the weapons they did to oh, yeah. make, opposite of what their actual personalities were. So that's why he gave he gave like Donnie the bow staff to make him more creative because he was the he thought too much. So he gave him the bow staff because he had to be creative in how he fought with that. He it's, gave Raph the size because it's the defensive weapon and he's Raph is always the attacker. So technically he should have got the katanas, but he gave him the size instead. So like stuff like that, like he he gave it to them intentionally opposite of their character. Well, let's switch the story up. Give them the weapon they're supposed to have based on their personality and let them go wild. Even then, I think everybody outside of Leo and Rap, I think Mike Le I think Mike Legend probably get the both stuff and Donald Trump get the nunchucks, probably. Donnie. I might have mentioned that, but I don't know. But Leo and Rap, I, I still don't see Donnie with, with nunchucks. I still don't see Donnie with nunchucks because it's not a direct 
Nope, take that back. I can't see it because he's triangulating angles every time he moves it. I can see okay. him doing that. Come on, man. Come on, man. Yeah. You know what's up. I can see him with the nunchucks. Now, the question is, would Leo get the bow staff or the size? I think Leo will get the bow staff and then maybe Mikey get the size. Mikey would get the size. That's what I'm thinking, too. Because Mikey was never the attacker. He was the defender. Yeah. Mikey yeah. always yeah. defended. Even with the nunchucks, he was always defending. That's right. Or he just deflect things. Whatever. Yep, that's true. No, he wouldn't. You know, know what I mean? Michael, Michael was deflected, so maybe he would get the both sides. But you can technically deflect some things that were both sides if it's a side. True. Actually, okay, so hear me. Okay, 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 okay. Follow that line. So that means we give Leo the size, right? True. Leo is, he's, the, he's able to defend. But if you think about it, what's the most aggressive weapon of the four. The Even though it's a defensive blade. weapon, it's the side. Oh, yeah, that's true. Because it's the it can do the most... It's not like a sword can slash, right? A side, I have to stab you. It's the most vindictive weapon. And Leo always had to calm himself down and be, be centered, quote-unquote, which means he more than likely was more aggressive than Raph was. I would stab your ass, man. On a regular basis. <laughs> so what if that's why he didn't give him the size? That makes sense. That makes sense. Because he would have been like criminally, you know what I mean? Like aggressive. Probably more of a like an aggressive Batman in a lot of ways than right. Real, like. right. I know that's something they can explain. I mean, we got the Seth Rogan Ninja Turtle movie coming out next year, so this will be like really young in that movie, so that might be something to keep an eye out for. Something we can look, I'll talk about later. We don't have to do it now, but something we can talk about later um, and probably get Jay on this one. If we took the weapons that the turtles have, changed them all out, what would you give them? We yeah. not we didn't got an answer today, yeah, but just a, something to think one. about. Yeah. Or maybe give them other ninja weapons too. That's what I'm saying. They can't use we can't use any of the four that they have. What would you give them as a main weapon for as a as a hand to hand combat weapon? Dang, I know. I think Rise of the TMNT explored that a little bit. I know the rep, the weapon. I know they were more mystical too. That's mm -hmm. that's another thing I couldn't get into. Rise. I just don't like magic and ninja turtles personally. Just a personal preference. I don't like them having magic because they did that in 03, and I, I hated that season. When they had the dragon powers, I hated that season. That was like my least favorite season. Mm. Because they, they were like ninjas and then became dragons and be like Shredder as a dragon. It made it was weird. I was like, that was doing too much. That was the lost season, allegedly. That was the lost season of 2003. But I can see why four kids did not want to air that season because it was so out there. Right. And they did fast forward instead. And I can see why. I can see why they switched. So like, oh. But thematically, if you've been following the show, that season, that last season makes sense thematically. But right. at the same yeah. time, thematically like, it does. It's just one of those where like like Turtles is one of those friends. I mean, you can't do too much wrong, but at the same time, it can go wrong depending on who's writing. Because I know like, a lot of people have been yeah. worried about the I know a lot of people worry about the Seth Rogen Ninja Turtles, and I'm not gonna lie. Same, same with me. Just because you don't know what he's gonna do. It could be Sausage Party, or it could just be a regular. It could be a Pixar movie. For all we know, who knows? Excuse me. This is true. This is true. It, it just depends. But I mean, other than that, that's another story. That's a whole show in itself. Like, Hold on the comments for another day, right? Yeah. <laughs> we need to do a whole episode on like remakes, reboots. What's What's the good way to do a reboot? Let's see, I've been you know, probably in on this note. Just finished up the um, Pretty Little Liars um, reboot, actually. That's on HBO Max. And that put the original Pretty Little Liars to shame in one season. There's, sometimes, there's some reboots where the reboot will just make the original just look stupid. And that's a perfect example. Mm-hmm. Cause I was like, I did. I was like, okay, this is gonna be okay, but the Pretty Little Lies reboot blows the original out the water. I didn't even say the the Ducktales reboot blows the original Ducktales out the water too. I'll say the same thing. 
But we'll never do that remake reboot show. I'll go into more details about that one. Personally. Cool, cool. Well, other than that, I think we got everything we need to hit on. Um, we will be back next week, last week before Dragon Con. Dragon Con coming! A week and a half left. Mm-hmm. We can have left before we before we head out there. So here. Yeah. Keep an eye out. We will be doing random random twitches, random uh TikToks and all that other good stuff. Every every platform we got, we'll be doing a bunch of random stuff as while we're out there having fun. Uh yeah, we'll catch some fun. content when we get back. I got it. We got to put together when we get back and get done with everything. Uh, we will still have our show on Sunday while we're there. And uh Rod will just jump in. As always, uh, the, three, the other three of us will be there. Also known as hashtag find cure blurred it. That should be a game show. <laughs> right. That, that. Find Q will blurred it. Come on down. <laughs> Do it like the match of the match game. Gotta have the game show music. <laughs> That would be a funny. Now I'm thinking about it, that. Would be a funny topic. Gotcha, anime boy. characters that will probably that should be on game shows. Like pick an anime character and put them on a game show. <laughs> oh, like get a like come up like if we had like for example Price is Right and then had somebody on the game show. Yeah, something like oh, that. Wow. But maybe huh. Luffy on um that Price Jeopardy. maybe on like <laughs> no Luffy Goku, on Jeopardy. Luffy. Goofy, Goku, and um, I don't know, Bakugo. <laughs> Throw all three of them on Jeopardy. What would you pass out? The Bachelor gives roses. What do you pay? What do you hand it out? <laughs> Barbecue. <laughs> Barbecue. <laughs> I'm handing out ribs. <laughs> I'm handing out shots. Flavor Flav gave gave clocks. <laughs> oh yeah, he did. <laughs> Cap's giving out shots. I'm giving out shots. So like, here you go. One last shot. You got to go. <laughs> I mean, name the show. One last shot. There you go. Nah, you don't get a shot if you don't get chosen. You gotta oh. get to drink oh. with me. If you stay. Yeah. So what do they get when they leave? Oh, oh so they get a shot. Uh, so they get shot glasses, a different shot glass every night, basically. Right. Okay. If you gotta go. You get no shot. No you get shot no shot. Please. Dang. You ain't get no shot. No. Everybody else gotta stay in there with their shot glasses until. Until mm-hmm. it's time to take the shot at the end. Yes. <laughs> Once that one person gone, I'm about to be like, like I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Melissa. You know, it, it, like, it hurts me to see you go, but we had we had some Lila, good times. Just come get your shot. Really wasn't really wasn't feeling you, you know, on that last mm-hmm. date. So uh, oh, we can call a shot of love with vocab. Oh my god, right, shot of love with vocab. Right. There we go. Down, the like, last Mo-Mo. shot. <laughs> the last shot. shot. You got to give him a shinobi headband. She said. And you give them the cross out Shinobi headband. Oh, wow. Move. So they when they leave, they get a marked out Shinobi headband with a shot glass in it. Yo, wait a minute. We might need to get this a TV producer. We might be on to something here. Hey, we need to just make it ourselves. Screw it. <laughs> shot at love. Yeah, if anybody's a video photographer, look, look out for these guys in Atlanta. Might right, show we'll be down there you. next weekend. We might go ahead and just put this together, call it a day. Start hey. working on the script. We gotta find if 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 you know a group of Y'all gotta write it. single ladies down there that we can get, we got we can we can send them to his uh his information ahead of time so that way they can you know they know where to show up at and we'll handle mm-hmm. that. We'll get that started. Do a quick one night, a one night on or no, we'll do a five, we'll do it over five nights. <laughs> we'll do it over the four nights we're down there. And every night before before we go do something for the evening, we we'll do that. Yeah, and we can and you can also make sure you can let them know that Peter Guns and Cheetahs won't be popping up anywhere. Right, no Peter Guns. <laughs> That'd be funny. Imagine someone doing a Diddy show and, and Cheetahs came, and Peter Guns and Cheetahs came, <laughs> came up. <laughs> that would be messed up. Like, what up? What up, okay? We got one of your girls is, is on Cheetahs. <laughs> that would be hilarious. <laughs> that don't mind me. Messed up. That, Listen, Ed, Ed, I'm gonna give out a token for reincarnation at the end of every. every oh wow! <laughs> Don't do that. 
And the name of the love show is going to be I Was Reincarnated to Death's Q's Love Interest. Oh, wow. It you had to what? be long, right? You had, had to make it long. <laughs> Gotta make it long. <laughs> Gotta be long. <laughs> Gotta make it long. Like, the night I was reincarnated as Q's Love Interest. That's right. <laughs> she said, oh, wow. That's right. All right, y'all. Well, we appreciate you swinging by. As always, Panda Pandemonium, the rest of the Chaos crew here in the wilds, sign it out. Let me see if there's anybody out here that I, that we uh, we mess with. See if anybody else is streaming right now. Maybe we can send send y'all over to say what's up to them. Let me let me pull up pull up Twitch here, and we'll see if anybody that I'm I'm cool with we we rock with goes is doing anything. Let's see here. Do 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 do. You know what? My guy yep. Zorio is playing Evil Within two. Ooh. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna raid him real quick. Uh, again, appreciate y'all coming through. We'll be back next week. Again, I'm gonna try to get that. Uh, I'm gonna try to get tomorrow the uh, not the menu. I want to say the calendar for the next two weeks and what we'll be doing as far as posts and stuff like that. We appreciate you coming through, Imani. Thank you so much. Uh, but yeah, we'll, I'm going to try to get that out. Uh, it'll be in the Discord. I will also post it on my Twitch page here. So you guys will have that tomorrow. And it'll have uh, everything that we're going to be doing for the next two weeks prior to the con. Now, what we do during con, it's going to be up in the air. But we're we going to be here for it. So We're going to be here for it. Shout out, shout out. Y'all have a great one. And let's go. Let's go pick on some people. Not mm-hmm. really. But yeah, yeah he's in the middle of no um, bullying. You know how that goes. No bullying. Go no bullying. Me. No bullying. We are fight nice and friendly people here in the wilds of Pandemonium. We might, you know, be a little loud, but you know, hey, we're nice and friendly. All right, we out. All right, peace. Yeah.